Hello, and thank you for listening to Getting Hired in Nate's Backyard. On this episode of the podcast, we talk with Kevin and Eric of Doberman. Doberman is a rad metal band here from here in Calgary. Uh, they just played with our previous podcast guest, Exes for Eyes, at Dickens Pub on uh, last Friday. Uh, it was a hell of a time. Uh, we talk about a bunch of stuff with the band, the gear they use, uh, how they recorded, where they recorded, uh, what they recorded, their their albums, their releases, and uh, a bunch of other stuff. So, as always, thanks for listening to Getting Hard in Nate's Backyard, and enjoy. I'm here with uh, Kevin. And Eric of Doberman. Hey, hi there. What's up? Say hello, fellers. Hello, oh. fellers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kevin, your switch isn't on. You gotta switch the tie. Yeah. You fucking up, right? Try it now. Yeah. See. Is this thing on? Yeah. Now it's on. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that happened last time. <laughs> Damn it. It's a trend. Yeah. <laughs> With such high-quality audio production, we'll uh, talk about how this <laughs> podcast is brought to you by Big Nate Productions. Go to BigNateProductions.com. Uh, I do live sound, recording. I'll fucking record your wedding. I don't give a shit. Whatever. Whatever you want. I'll so record shit, it. Man. I'll, uh, I'll, uh, I'm not a DJ, though, so don't hit me up for DJ shit, because I don't DJ anything. My iPod sucks. <laughs> uh, Calgary Metal Fest brings you... Earth, fuck. Big Nate Productions brings you Calgary Metal Fest, June 3rd through 6th. Doberman's playing that. Yeah. Fuck yeah, pumped. That's going to be a fucking epic show. It's a stacked, stacked yeah. bill. I think that's a definition that's of stacked a, bill. That, that's a bro down. <laughs> that's that a bro yeah, yeah, super sure. bro down. Yeah. That's what Metal Fest is all about, folks. Don't be expecting fucking Nevermore playing here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know them. Just don't get in Triton. <laughs> if I knew all these bands, they'd be in. I know some of them. I might. I should ask Root next year. People would freak out. You can ask whoever you want. That guy's <laughs> CS. Yeah. Yeah. No, uh, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Or they'll say. We want twenty five thousand yeah. dollars and we want flights, a ridiculous amount of money, and, and fucking uh, hotels, and and, and a, a hotel for each guy. Yeah, because I was when I was talking to I won't say who. <laughs> <laughs> they were like they're a five piece, and they're like, well, we we need to bring our sound guy, and we need to bring a merch person, and I'm like, okay. And they're like, yeah, so everybody needs their own room. And I'm like, seven, seven fucking hotel rooms. <laughs> yeah, like, fuck, <laughs> Yeah, man. no worries, a thousand dollars for your fucking hotel is not a big deal. Like. And it was like, is that a deal breaker? It's like, well, fuck, I mean, kind of. Yeah, that's kind of a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you just added like $3,000 onto the bill. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> fuck. So anyways, that's part of my life. Uh, <laughs> the joys of putting on shows. Hey? Yeah, that's if you don't like it, put on your own festival. Get your fucking, <laughs> get your fucking uncle with this endless credit card out, and you can have fucking, your own birthday party. Yeah, you throw yourself <laughs> every year. Right? <laughs> <laughs> fucking a. And this uh, podcast is also brought to you by Right Hook Max, which our guests are speaking through today. When they're on. Yes. Yeah, when they're on. They have a switch on them so that you can turn them off if you don't want them on. And you should turn that switch to on if you want it on. <laughs> on, on. <laughs> Tech say, tip of the week. They're, they're pretty sexy looking, though. Yeah, they're cool as fuck. They're not too bad. They're like 100 150 bucks. Go to righthookmikes.com. They're our first sponsor ever. They're hard as fuck. Yesterday was a podcast with Big James. He... He uh, does the right hook mic deal. He puts them all together, and they fucking do like all this crazy final assembly. They do all the powder coating here and shit, wiring. So yeah, buy them right hook mic right hook mics dot com. <laughs> it's your best radio voice. <laughs> so uh, without any further ads, you. I think I say that the same every time, but weirder, <laughs> lamer. Um, it's your thing now. Yeah, I guess. I have to. That's yeah. too bad. <laughs> <laughs> In hindsight, I wish it would have made something cooler. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, yeah. I couldn't have made something cool. had to make fun of my French heritage. Uh, I welcome Doberman. What's Kevin, up? Kevin and Eric. Yeah. Thanks for being here, fellas. Thanks for having us. Thank you for having us in your bus. You might be a little too far away, you. If you can get it closer to you, do it. Just running for it. 
there yet. Nancy how how about this? That one, I might be too close. <laughs> <laughs> no, three to six inches, whatever. It's I'm just good. getting too comfortable, man. I'm sinking into the I know. seat. Yeah. 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 Sinking right up against the wall. Yeah, it's it's easy to do. Mm-hmm. Um, it is we, Sunday. We might be able to get you some reinforcement pillows. I got one here. No, no, we're good. Okay. <laughs> I'll just sit up like a gentleman. Thanks for uh, getting hard in Nate's backyard, fellas. Yeah. <laughs> What's going on? What do you got to plug? You got some shows coming up, we right? Got some, we got some we got shows. You got a website, up, yeah. Doberman. No, dot com. No, is there no, a segment? No, no, we got nothing no. like that. No. No. Okay. No. Yeah, Bandcamp. Yeah. Bandcamp. No. Yeah. Bandcamp. Um, yeah. Facebook. Twitter. It's uh, Doberman. Twitter. Y-Y-C. Insta- Instagram. Yyc. Dot Bandcamp. Yep. Cool. We got Instagram. Doberman Calgary and Twitter and all that stuff. And Check them out. They're fucking music rules. And we got some shows coming up. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, April 17th, The Night Owl, with our friends Triton, Woodhawk, and Chieftain. Uh, Carlin's birthday show. So I don't know if he's announced it yet, but I don't know who's playing it, but I'm sure it'll be wicked and it's at the Palmino. And, of course, Calgary Metal Fest, because we wouldn't miss it. Fuck it. We would not. Thanks for doing it. <laughs> I'm happy we're not playing on a Thursday this year, though. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no, no way that can be on a Thursday. Uh, Thanks for pulling a solid last year. <laughs> That's uh, much uh, pretty. Hopefully it goes up, I right? think this is our, our three-peat of our... Is it? I think this is our third Metal Fest. Cool, so good. Don't, don't tell anybody we're... Yeah. We, we keep asking us to come back. And <laughs> yeah, no, I, I ask you. It's okay. <laughs> Actually, the message, all it said was, Metal Fest, question mark. That was all you said. <laughs> and we Your answer question. was, yes, yes. period. <laughs> yeah, that's that's how that, deals man. should be cut. Yeah, exactly. You know? <laughs> and then fuck we didn't talk about it for a while. Let's just get this shit done. Yeah, we like, didn't talk about it for a long time after that, too. It was just like, we agreed to it. We'd, and then you announced when it was. And it's like, oh, that's when it is. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah. It's like watching it, you know. Like what position you got on the baseball team when the coach announces yeah. like you got cut and shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, like holy fuck, I'm fu- I'm second base. Sweet. If you don't ask us next year, it'll be really weird because we're probably just gonna show up and play anyways. <laughs> <laughs> just get a a parking lot show. Going. Yeah. <laughs> Calgary Police sponsored. People might be fucking tired of us by then, Kevin. So yeah, Kevin making plans yeah, you guys will probably advance. break up by then. Yeah, <laughs> 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 a year's a long fucking way. Through. Let's get through this one first before we start talking about fucking next year. Right? <laughs> that's the Doberman way. You just take it one day at a time. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very volatile situation. Uh, hey man, I is it every band? I at some think point? so, man. I really do think so. When you, when and, you got when you got those fucking I don't know that many dudes and that many fucking opinions to worry about all the time it's, yeah it's bound to happen you're gonna get in some fucking arguments every once in a while but we were all way too good of friends for way too long before the band so yeah. now we don't take any shit from each other <laughs> like at all well fucking hey that's what happened with Kyoctus too it's like we were all friends you know so it was like i don't want to be in bands with guys you know like some guys are super amazing players and that's why you're in a band with them and whatnot, mm-hmm. but then it's like oh shit you but, hate, I mean, you hate but, the world. Well, I mean, that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> and none of us get along at all. So <laughs> yeah, you don't want to be you around s- people. You, st- ever. you start finding all fucking weird shit about them. And you're just like, oh man. See, I know. I knew all the weird shit about these people before yeah. we even started. First the band, and foremost, so. you knew I was a redhead. So like that fucking tells you everything. Right yeah, there, it's but. pretty. You can see that from space. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You had the. When did you cut your beard? Uh, actually, last weekend. Yeah, yeah. fuck. I was gonna say yeah, you, you had the long. most epic beard of all time. <laughs> that was about like eight or nine months, I think, something like that. And I was like, fuck it. I'm, wow. I'm going about eight or nine months right now. Yeah, <laughs> nice, Kevin. Yeah, thanks to this one. And you guys yeah. got refused for booze, yeah, yeah, right? Thanks to this fucking guy. He doesn't have his ID. Thirty-one fucking years old. <laughs> the liquor store refused them on the way here. That is fucking really? classic. Yeah, and I fucking lost it. I was like, fucking seriously? Are like, you fucking kidding me, guy? Thirty fucking years old. No, I'm not kidding you. Like, okay. I, can't, I cannot make sale. Fuck you. I cannot yeah, make sale. Yeah, fuck you, <laughs> fucking douche. Was that around here? Was that the <laughs> that one? was the liquor deal at the fucking mall fuck, over there? They man. must. Well, you know, AGLC might have fucking assholes out. Yeah, but you I know, mean, like these kids who are sixteen who have huge beards and I shit. Wasn't yeah. them, and I wasn't like, like hey, no. they go in and they're like, you're busted. Well, I mean, how many 16-year-olds do you know with their hands and throat tattooed? So, like, <laughs> <laughs> if they are, then they're the most badass fucking kid, I guess. But, like, or they made some tor- terrible fucking decisions. Ter- well, even if they're 30, it's still some terrible <laughs> 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 Yeah. Nice. 
How long? When did Doberman start? What year? I think we were talking about that recently. I don't even fucking remember now. How long has it been? Three years? I think on the week when Nancy asked us last time, we were just we were unsure. But I think it's four years. It must be. Cool. That's yeah. the problem with we were friends before and we all hung out and. Where's Jordan when just, you need him? We, yeah, <laughs> we started the band and then we still hang out. So it's. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess it's been. Uh, it's been kind of good in that way. If you don't th- if you don't know how long it's been, it's been a few years and shit. So you, you know you're not counting the fucking days that you've been doing something. <laughs> yeah, it's usually yeah. probably pretty good. You know, it's yeah, fun. I so. agree. Same, if I was asked that question about my band, I'd be like, uh, same thing. Yeah, I, yeah same thing. I, <laughs> Some, yeah. Someone will tell us that we're wrong one day. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like actually, I happen it's to been... know yeah, that it was this long. But. You guys played my high school reunion. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you played the dance party, remember? Uh, the much music you know dance this, party? <laughs> We're not Man, allowed to those play things, dude? all the just shows. <laughs> remember, Every, when, remember when much music was a thing for real? Dude, and actually played what, music? That, that's when I moved to Canada. Yeah. I, I moved here for, uh, from Portland, Oregon when I was halfway through sixth grade. Oh yeah. So like every dance, man, like school would, dance I went to was a much music dance. And party. dude, that was the shit. I came okay, man when I was when I lived. I was born and raised in Yellowknife until I moved from there when I was uh, probably like twelve. And we had like a bunch of school dances and shit. And we fucking lobbied the school for so long to try to get a fucking much music dance to come up there. And it was just gonna be so expensive they wouldn't do it. I just thought it was the coolest fucking thing. Then when I finally experienced one, I realized that, like, hey, this is pretty fucking lame, too. But <laughs> that yeah. was no waste of money. <laughs> yeah. I think that you might be lucky because I'm pretty sure they were trying out some chemicals on people with the smoke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like the, the fog back in the day. Like, oh, that's yeah. when it was like, there was oh, no... Yeah. Now they try to say there's water-based fog, which is kind of a lie. <clears throat> I think that's that every time we play a show and there's fog, I'm like, oh, what do we do? <sighs> it always smells the like o- maple syrup. <laughs> the only reason I do that at Dickens is because those lights suck if you don't have fog. It's the only reason. Well, lasers too. Yeah, well, I try not to use the lasers for all <laughs> shows. Lasers, yeah, lasers man. are pointless if you don't have fog. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it's. I'm yeah. kind of directed to do that, so that's you know, that's fair. I don't I don't mind it. Just it fills up me, space, I guess. Apparently, I've heard of Baller's vocalists in their yeah. I, 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 ask, shit like I try that. to ask mm-hmm. if people. It, care. It's hard on the drums. It's just like inhaling it. It's like you feel like you've smoked like 400 cigarettes like back in the day oh yeah oh. Hmm. I didn't think it was that bad <laughs> <laughs> I don't I, I've never had that I've never had that reaction to it either but I remember playing the guy from the real Mackenzie's was like turn that fucking fog off you <laughs> fuck <laughs> like, he's just like freaking on me I was like well not you're on like, me you're like, you're like, like, you're like off by off do I mean blast you over damage it right now well, 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 I was like it's, it's, it's off <laughs> it's okay it's off <laughs> Stop yelling at me, Dad! I just remember playing shows like when they could still smoke in the bar. Oh, and that was bad. It was Man, the worst. Do you remember when that like, was just I'd a never thing? Smoked, it was normal. So it's just like I you... feel like I smoke like a whole pack, and then afterwards feel like garbage. On that same topic, though, like, do you guys also remember when they stopped having smoking in bars? I remember one bar in particular, and that being Filthy McNasty's in Edmonton, and walking in there right after they stopped the smoking, that smoke covered up a lot of gross fucking yeah. smells that happened in there. <laughs> uh, Watching that place, and it smelled like fucking puke, like, straight up, and I was just, you know, I was just like, oh, man. this. That's uh, why Vern's was so yeah. popular. And, and still <laughs> is popular. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't know how many holes you can kick in a bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I've, 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 I've seen one worse bathroom than that, and that was a DV8 in Edmonton oh, uh, yeah. before they I fucking, fucking moved. I've never been there. And they, I don't know. Yeah, the new one's, the new the one's a lot better, but the other one was a fucking shithole. I think I took a picture of the bathroom one time and hashtagged it, don't touch anything but your dick. Uh, <laughs> flush the toilet with your foot, you know, like... Your fucking. poop is cleaner than this? <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much, yeah. You just cleaned the bathroom. It was fucking gnarly. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for cleaning the urinal. Yeah. Uh, yeah, signs like that. Yeah, pretty people much. pissing in the urinal is part of their business plan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, don't, we don't need no cleaners. We'll just people piss in there. <laughs> Set up some targets. I'm sure people will just, like, clean it for you. Or you just... Pi- or just- do you remember the underground days? Oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely, man. I remember they had the, the open while. trough, but then they put the dividers up? Well, yeah, because that makes <laughs> <no> sense, yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Like, it was an open trough forever, and then the last, like, two years, there was, I was like, when I went out. 
providers. What the fuck happened? Because one, <laughs> one guy, one like, guy complained. Yeah, one guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the funny thing is, the ship still has a fucking trough at it. Like no, no dividers. Divider. It's like I don't know, man. I there, feel like there's I'm not someone complained. I'm not looking at your dick. Don't worry. Yeah. Don't need a divider. I'm, not, I'm like, not worried about the looking at the dick part. I'm worried about someone else's fucking piss getting on me when they're fucking <laughs> splashing that shit around <laughs> up there, man. Stand so close. <laughs> <laughs> I bet that yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm I'm usually worried about people pissing on me too. I don't think that it's actually that big of a threat. It's just that would be real fucking <laughs> awful, you know, really. Daily struggles of Eric. Eh? Yeah, mm-hmm. peeing on him. <laughs> well, dude, that's pretty fucking gross. I almost peed on a dude's lap last night at the comedy show. What? Uh, you were oh, laughing yeah. so hard. <laughs> he had he had the like you know when you go to the bathroom and you sit down, you close the door and you lock the little thing. This guy. Closed the door and like it was still a jar of it. And well, we were drunk after the comedy show. And I had to pee. And we had we had to if race a outside. Stall's to door the is crowd. not locked. The last thing you're expecting is a dude taking a shit. I feel like if you're if you're at the your most vulnerable state taking a shit, you lock the fucking door. Yeah, I would the think. lock works. Yeah, like yeah. I would think that that would just be like rule number one. You don't just leave that shit last last daily just hanging out there. Like fucking oh, come on in, you know. And it was at the end of the show, so as soon as the headliner finished, I ran to the bathroom because I wanted to pee before I got in the cab to go home. So like, I'm I with authority <laughs> open this door because <laughs> I'm gonna pee because the two urinal stalls were taken. I was like oh, oh open the door and there's a guy and I screamed like a girl and just, <laughs> and just ran out of the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Got in the who cab was more surprised, him or you? <laughs> is the question. Probably me. He didn't seem to like be bothered at all. Well, I guess if he left it unlocked, like, maybe he was fucking. Maybe he was. I don't know. Encouraging intruders, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was weird. Oh, hey, buddy. How you doing? You got a pee? Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) They call me Gold Shower Mike. Uh, Yeah, yeah. (laughs) It was a weird crowd. One of the comedians. I hope it's right. Just piss on my face. (laughs) Speaking of comedians... Uh, I'm gonna have Jason Rouse on the podcast. Cool. We we saw his uh, advertisement at the uh, Yuck Yucks actually. Yeah, 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 he, yeah. he's doing an X-rated show there. Yeah, totally. Uh, Yuck Yucks isn't is- supposed to know this, but he's gonna be doing like 15 minutes at the uh, April 3rd pre Metal Fest show. Nice, cool. Yeah, so come on down to that. So don't yeah. tell them. Don't tell them. And don't, don't tell, tell Yuck Yucks. yucks. N- yeah. Just don't tell Yuck Yucks. Everybody else needs to know. But just <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> when you know, just know that you can't tell them. <laughs> Someone's uncle fucking owns that place. <laughs> yeah, that shit. Totally. God damn it. <laughs> Call him right away. <laughs> Listen to this at this time. Phone's <laughs> blowing up right now. What I, what I do want to say about that place is... um. The dude who opened last night at that fucking comedy show was just horrendous. <laughs> just what really? Yeah. I wish I knew his name. It was, like, it was so that I could encourage people to not ever have it, to go it was, that. It was like just not good, and I was like, I was just. How long like, did they give him? I, I it was well, longer just, than he was the DJ. Like the, the the opening guy was funny. The opening comedian, but the first dude who went up there trying to do crowd work and shit. It was just like, how did you get this job? Because I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't be judging so harshly because I mean. It's, some, it some people have off nights I, I get that yeah, shit, yeah, totally. but like just, just the way it was you know it. Saturday night and all those you know what's <laughs> weird with the comedy clubs I find though like they they uh, they'll be they'll book these guys like three days in a row and Saturday's the last night you gotta think so instead of doing like you know Friday, Saturday, Sunday they'll do like Thursday, Friday, Saturday so, and these guys lots of times are doing two shows a night yeah so if you catch a late show on the Saturday which you would figure would be the most epic banger they'd probably they're just like, less of a, uh, the least of a fuck about it right yeah like, we, we saw that was what was happening with Ari Shafir we went ooh. and saw Ari Shafir and like he was funny and everybody was funny but you could tell they were like tired they're just like I'm done with this fucking city get me out of this fucking totally, country man totally I almost had him down to the oh shit show. Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah, he was he was thinking about it for a second. I think you actually talked to him and shit afterwards. Or yeah, what? yeah. Cool. No, the, he was cool. He fucking hung out. He was smoking weed in the parking nice. lot with everybody. Nice. And fucking. He seems like a fucking funny guy, man. Yeah, so. Rouse is coming on the podcast too. Sweet. He's on April first. Sweet. That'll, just that'll, fucking, that'll be a great April Fool's Day fucking <laughs> podcast. <laughs> Hopefully he's actually coming. Yeah. <laughs> he's not Joke's just on you. Like, yeah. Where are you, man? Just stops responding to all my emails. <laughs> uh, he yeah. was the one who did he, yuck yucks while he's in town. Yeah, yeah. If you guys are interested, uh, we're all going to go down there and, and well, watch, it, watch I, him like, we had so alienate fun. the whole entire crowd. Awesome. Fuck, man. I've seen him twice now, and there's always a guy after who's like, you're making fun of my wife. 
<laughs> and he's like, <laughs> he's like, yeah, yeah well, yeah, you, came to, you, came to a, you came to a comedy show, and if you were just, if you're wondering, I was just kidding. Like, well, he, he's like, you need to apologize. He's like, I'm not apologizing, man. Like, it's a fucking show. It, man, it's, it's a comedy dude, show. Everyone these I'm days known is for so being. You paid money. Yeah, to you be paid here. money to come here. Yeah, if you don't know who I am, don't come. That's not yeah, my problem. That's yeah, your yeah. fucking problem. Guy. And it's funny, like he just did some dates in Vancouver, and I noticed on his, uh, like he posted something like, "Oh, standing room only last night in uh, Vancouver," and somebody put on his Instagram like, "Yeah, because everybody's trying to get out the fucking door, you asshole." <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, "Is that real?" And like, it was funny. It was uh, like, I oh think, my god, he's he really pissing somebody. people yeah, off. Yeah. But hey, man, honestly, as far as I'm concerned, if you don't piss people off in some way as a comedian, like you're not really fucking doing your job, then. Well, especially Rouse, man. I mean, he, he. Uh, it's so funny because he put a thing with Ari Shafir. He lives in L.A. Yeah. He used to live in Russell Peters' basement. It's crazy, man. Like I don't fucking under. He knows Russell Peters. Like they're friends. I I don't get it like he's getting fucking dirt roaded somehow like they're like you're too fucked man <laughs> <laughs> like you know like, like, yeah, like Rogan not, not... had him on the podcast he, he you know Shafir like yeah, you'd think yeah. like they, they'd be like come on get this guy on he's fucked yeah so well, and, and, and something's Mike, going on there. It's like he's too dirty for right now, <laughs> like for the dirty and, and comedians. I, and I feel like that shouldn't be a thing. If, if people think that, then they're just everyone's just too fucking butthurt these days. With fucking anything you say, you can't say a fucking thing without offending someone. And they're joining their little groups and shit. And it's like <laughs> fuck off. Well, and people would say about him, well, his art is offending people. Well, there you go. Yeah, awesome. You accomplished what you set out to do. You know. Yeah, he's it's, it's, really good at it. It's it's, it's all <laughs> yeah. yeah right how about we f yeah fucking don't even get me started on that shit yeah. but like <laughs> but that's it no but that's a definitely a uh, valid thing you know what i mean like it's totally don't listen. yeah um but uh <laughs> yeah it's like um neil hamburger too same i've seen him i've seen so many fucking people like heckle that dude and get fucking pissed off at his jokes and shit too and it's uh, like, i don't know who he is oh no uh, there's uh, so many comedians yeah, yeah. it's awesome he's got I a fucking people... he's got a strange style all to his own but it's pretty yeah. funny it's pretty crazy. yeah I like I like sitting there and just looking up uh, any comedian and then putting heckler after yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> so so good. Awesome. yeah. it's the most fun you'll have you get drinking. deep about I've, it I've seen, I've seen, I've seen <laughs> Chris D'Elia fucking rip on some people pretty good fucking heckling and shit yeah like D'Elia like he, he, I, to me Rouse is as big as D'Elia I don't get yeah fuck it's weird yeah, he's got his own podcast though. Uh, I don't know if you guys have heard Jason. It's, no, it's no. Called Safe word. Cool. <laughs> it's, it it's pretty awesome. It's well done. He puts he has cool little commercials and shit too. And they've uh, he, he's only done maybe fifty or sixty now, but they're getting really good. How did you get in touch with them initially? Like, um, well, actually, uh, how <laughs> funny story. Um, <laughs> I'm glad I asked. <laughs> Kiliakai played at the Stetson with We Found the Body. Mm -hmm. It was, uh, we found the body. The Stetson, like, like years ago? Yeah, like, like, this was in, like, 08. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, so it was, uh... Yeah, me too, brah. Yeah, can I have Please? Too, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> beer break. Yeah, beer run. <laughs> it's Canada, we're using the exterior fridge still. <laughs> uh, you gotta lift up and then pull in. Oh, this whole fucking thing. I should put that in the podcast, like, description. When you come in, <laughs> lift the handle straight up, pull out. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Um, yeah, so we're playing. Killy Kai's playing. So we found the body opened. Jason Rouse did 40 minutes and absolutely fucking destroyed the yeah. room. Yeah, yeah. Like, people were fucked. People <laughs> were, they didn't know what to think about it. And it was the first time I saw him, and I was like, this is the funniest fucking shit <laughs> I have ever seen in my life. Like, he is the fucking heavy metal comedian. Like, he's all in leather and the whole Oh, yeah, bit, yeah. You know, like... And he's he's funny. Like, he's sick funny. Like, we like. Yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> and, and, uh, <laughs> but he's really offensive, too. Uh, and <laughs> so, Kili Kai's setting up, and we're just setting our shit up, and this fucking bottle comes whipping in from oh, the no crowd. Way. Like, somebody threw it hard. <laughs> and it fucking, fucking bounced, dick move, man. It bounced off Boyko's kick drum and went flying into the back. 
and fucking Wes right away just started fucking losing his mind. Who the fuck do that? <laughs> just right away fucking... Man, that's some fucking bullshit, it. man. Any any kind of live performance, you start throwing fucking bottles at someone, you deserve to get your fucking ass kicked because that's some fucking bullshit. Oh, it's so fucked. Like, he was like, give me the mic. Where's the mic? Where's the mic? Oh, he gets the mic. He's like, whoever fucking threw that goddamn bottle fucking molest that fucking guy. You know, <laughs> yeah. just like... Yeah. Ripping, ripping, ripping. So then... Um, we're all standing there weirded out and we set up and we're just about to hit and, and this is the first time I met uh, Mark Russell by the way too. oh yeah and so because Mark Russell was had a couple guys that I didn't know at the time and and they were all like what the fuck man what happened there and we were like we don't know and they were like doing security there or some shit and uh, so they were right there while Wes is like calling this guy out and then Buddy walks right up to the front and goes yeah he goes, no, it was me. I thought you'd think it was funny. And then he put his fucking right cheek out, like smoked me in the face. Aw, oh, what? So yeah. He, so and Wes him, looks right? at me. W- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 well, Wes looks at me, because Wes had been beating up a lot of people. Let's just put it that way. And the whole band was like, hey, making you stop yeah, beating You're going to tone up. down the beating up yeah, people yeah, where you're starting to get a reputation here. Yeah. Right? <laughs> so basically, that's what had been happening. He looks at me. I throw my hands up in the air, like, hit him. He understood it as like, well, don't do it. I'm like, hit him, like, <laughs> like, hit him. Yeah, yeah of course. And, so- the, and then, but before he could do that, Mark Russell, fucking, and and then fucking Boyko goes one, two, three, four, and we start the fucking show. <laughs> and, and Mark Russell and and his two buddies are just, I'm fucking watching the haymakers. Oh yeah, dude. Fucking, <laughs> over the head, fucking haymakers, and fucking these girls were like so horrified. <laughs> But this guy was like on some shit, man. He was on like meth or something. Yeah. He was fighting. This is before dudes. bath salts, so it was probably meth. Then, I'm sure. <laughs> he, he was like fighting them intensely and, and like holding. You know what? It, it was like superhuman shit. <laughs> like when Mark Russell smashes you with a hammer like four times in the face, yeah. like a hammer fist. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it, you know, uh, usually <laughs> yeah. you'll stop doing whatever you're doing. <laughs> yeah. Not this guy. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. So I watched the fight. It was like in front, in front, and for a minute, in well, like a second, in my head, I was like, should I stop the show? Especially when I saw those girls, they were always crying. And, then, and I was like, fuck this guy. And then you just saw him just like, smash, 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 <laughs> smash, smash. And then they got him up to by the bar, and it was like, smash, smash, it's smash, It's like smash, the cartoon smash. fight, the fucking yeah. dust just flying around <laughs> so everywhere. <early>, man. <laughs> and then they got him outside, and apparently, uh, I don't know. Apparently this guy was, was a, the last a guy. time anybody heard of that guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Boyko told me he knew his friend had a twice removed somewhere or something and his that cousin fucking was knew like, this guy. Yeah, that guy does that sometimes. Like he gets retarded and he gets beat up by a lot of people because Man, he's feel, a fucking idiot. I feel like that. I feel I'm like glad I'm not that guy. Yeah. I, I, I don't like getting beat up that much. So that's how I met Jason Rouse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pretty good uh, introduction, I would say. So we kind of became friends then, and we hung out, and he he came back through on tour, and and we hooked up, and like I went I went and saw his show, and he's like during his show he's like I want to go to the gay bar. What's it called? The Roadhouse? Yeah, the gay bar. And, <laughs> You're like and then, it is a gay bar, but not <laughs> the gay bar. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a different not use the, of the word. <laughs> not, not the definition you were talking about. <clears throat> so I was like, you don't really want to go to this bar, do you? Like, if you ever been, he's like. Yeah, no, let's go, man. And, and we went there. It was the only time I've ever been in the Roadhouse. I've been there a couple times, and uh got to say, my experiences were exactly how I imagined it would be in that place. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Just a bunch of fucking douchebaggery going on. <laughs> so we don't go there very often. Yeah, no, I don't. <laughs> it was only because I was dragged there with other people, but, mm-hmm. you know, you have expectations, and it lived up to them. And then Rouse... Um did you guys catch up at Metal Fest too when he co- co- well he hosted? Yeah, um, I, I I fucked up with that. I didn't. I wasn't prepared enough. I didn't think it through. I didn't even tell the bands like there's going to be somebody who's going to introduce you. So quickly do a sound check and then don't do anything. So, <laughs> so he can introduce you. I didn't you know provide that instruction. So sometimes he'd be like he'd be like ready and they're just like bang into their, into their set. He's, He's like, like fuck you know what'd you get me up here for? And I was just like god damn it. Cost too um, much money for that. <laughs> but on the uh, kickoff party for Metal Fest 2, uh, he did like almost a whole hour, which he doesn't get to do. 
Like he never gets like in L.A. The, he gets like three minutes. Yeah, of stage he probably time fucking three to five minutes shit, right? Like, yeah, fuck. So better get to the point quick. And yeah, yeah. This he had a fucking hour, and holy fuck, it was the well, it was the can, funniest thing I've ever seen. You can in my really life. settle in. And, it. You can really settle in and start fucking with some people, and you got an hour to fucking do it. You know, oh, like man, you, you you take them on an emotional journey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This one time he played with, I set up a show with him, because when he comes through, he tries to get a show with bands, because what the fuck, right? He's yeah. so segregated, <laughs> yeah. like in the comedy community. Um, so it was stabbed to his pole, and we found the body, and Jason Rouse. And uh, there was like nobody there, <laughs> <laughs> except uh, Kristen from BDFM fame was there, and she went and sat right in the front. Right in front of him. Well, he did. So, main target set. or what? Oh, and she was by herself. <laughs> <laughs> and, oh, man, he started doing this frozen piece of dog shit. Um, it was ridiculous. It was, <laughs> it was ridiculous. It was so funny. He's he's the funniest fucking dude. Check him out. Jason Rouse. I don't know why anybody, everybody isn't. I don't know. Hopefully who, he's not playing a big April Fool's joke on you. Yeah, hopefully he's not. Yeah, no shit, <laughs> eh? It's all this crazy <clears throat> free promo in front of ten people. <laughs> Actually, I got 50 unique downloads last month. Wow. And ten of them was probably you, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> I don't download. I stream that shit. <laughs> so well, I think that's... Does it, with do you, the get, way do you get feedback on everything. that shit? Like, can, I have can you it tell? set up through... This thing, but I'm not paying, so they give it to me really lame. <laughs> so oh. the information isn't really that real. Yeah, oh. right. <laughs> yeah. I just put. The, I could be getting ten thousand downloads. Yeah. They're like, yeah, you got fifty unique downloads this month. <laughs> you should, you should try harder next time. You should, yeah, you, you know, should also uh, try. You pay us pay money, you might thing. have some more downloads. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you might see more of your actual downloads than you. Uh, yeah. Fuck, but um, yeah, and it, it only. I'm not sure exactly when it. Um, reports like how current they are so i'm not sure if i'm getting it monthly or it's like from or, fucking three months ago you're like, yeah, you're like totally on your first <laughs> day yeah <laughs> yeah <clears throat> um so thank you for listening to the podcast all the time kevin yeah streaming no it at big nate productions.com that's what you do right i listen to it in my office big nate productions.com <laughs> <laughs> if you didn't catch that that was big nate productions.com <laughs> big nate productions.com i think it's been proven that if you say things at least three times people will remember that's that's yeah. the rule right yeah. three times <laughs> three times you no know, I, I stream the podcast cool fucking a what other that did you know that woodhawk has been being played on the jason ellis podcast a whole bunch what those all I the time love that band. they're wow, like my man. favorite for them. that's fun. favorite yeah. new band i still have never heard this band before but he's telling me lots of good shit about we'll play some cool. woodhawk at the yeah, break cool, man. yeah i think woodhawk they're, is great those yeah, guys are fucking they're the nicest people totally and they have from the sound guy point of view they have rad tones they always call me by my first name which is kind of weird but right. it's really awesome at the same time. Just like, hey, You're Kevin, fr- how's it going? And it's like, not just, hey, man, how's it going? It's always like, Kevin, how are you doing? <laughs> yeah. Hello, Kevin. How are you today, Mr. White Person? <laughs> yeah. It's like that. It's, I'm always just like, I'm like, I'm well. Like, I am well. I'm man. well. Yeah. <laughs> well, they say the, um, what, what, oh. What what do they say? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and, who they, it, and who is it that says this? Well, I who think is it's Dale name? Carnegie. I can remember everyone's names. He's lucky. And the the best thing to a person's ears is the sound of their own name. I almost find you know what I mean? so it, like if you can be very successful if you can just remember everybody's name, which is fucking impossible. Big James, oh, man. he remembers everybody's name. It's fucked up. It's it's, I don't know what weird. he does. He must do like exercises. Big, no, it's because he doesn't smoke fucking weed. Is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> it flashes it in his face. <laughs> He's not high all the time. Is what it is. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that could be it. I don't know. I am the fucking worse for that so oh, I apologize man. to anybody if I've ever forgotten your name it's not because you know yeah, it's important. nothing it's personal ca- it's cause I'm a fucking asshole and I just can't fucking remember people's names for the fucking life of me so yeah it's definitely a skill you have to you have to concentrate learn. on that shit you have to teach yourself to do or something you have to re- yes or just to- not be wasted all the time yeah, well, no but I think you could if you, if you taught show. yourself how to do it you could be wasted all the time and <laughs> <laughs> oh I've taught myself how to be wasted all the time <laughs> you, uh, I forget my names <laughs> I always do a corny part of the podcast where we talk about gear and stuff so what what kind of rig do you play Eric? Guitar player? Um, right. I'm what play- kind of guitar do you got? I'm playing uh, an LTD. 
Um, Kila six. Uh, it's the yeah six string. Yeah, it's yeah. the H one thousand one deluxe. Cool. And uh, I have a Mesa triple rec and a Fender Supersonic when I buy amp them. Uh, lots of times for shows, I don't like bringing both cabs. So I'll just oh, play my, yeah. my, uh, but you buy amp and go, go down to four ohms. Yeah, because oh. I, because I, because I, the the so supersonic crush. is uh, only 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 eight ohms out. Yeah, so yeah. I have to play it through a separate cab unless I fucking you know yeah. have a stereo cab. But it's aw- that's awesome. It sounds fucking those two of those amps together sounds fucking wicked. I'm uh, really digging it. Yeah, fuck yeah, and then. Uh, Kev, you your sponsored drummer. Yeah, I'm endorsed by Milton Custom Drums. <laughs> Fucking a. And what do you? Uh, and Los Cabos drumsticks, but oh, we're talking nice. drums here. Yeah, yeah, but <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, it's part of the, it's part of the deal. Uh, it's a drum come like uh, stave drums out of Calgary. Uh, the guy makes them all like in his own garage. Define stave drum for the listeners. It's uh, solid blocks of wood formed into a circle and then. Well, essentially, a, that's what it is. I'm, I don't, I don't know. Pieces, I'm not a right? Woody, basically. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a bunch of separate pieces as opposed to one band of a piece. Yeah, of wood it's, not, it's not. A, it's not a bunch of plies of wood and then heated. It's a bunch and, of solid and pieces put together. Solid pieces of wood and then like bored out to be into circles. Yeah, right. Yeah. And the drum kit I play now is a white oak custom. Cool. And it's like the best drum sounding drum beautiful. kit I've ever. Fuck yeah! What sizes? Uh, I play a twelve. 12, uh, 12, 11, 16, 16, and a 22, 20. But you only have three drums. Yeah. What sizes are those? That's them. What? I, I play a, tw- a 12 inch, 16, and a 22. Oh, a 12 is 16 and a 22. Yeah. yeah, cool. That Well, that's the size. I was speaking depths as well. Oh, you're <laughs> speaking depths as well. Okay. <laughs> Fuck. Well, that's some other woody. Don't go so through the might understand on me, man. That. <laughs> I'm a bass player. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I, I can't I, even do quartz. I play a four piece and then a fourteen inch snare, and uh, I recently broke my sna- my stave drum snare, which is something I told him when he endorsed me. Like I'm gonna break your shit, just so you know that. And he's like, oh, that's nice. cool. And so I, he's fixing my snare drum right now and putting reinforcement rings and stuff. And huh? He basically gets me to test his gear. Yeah, right. Which is totally fine with me. I yeah. don't mind just thrashing on some stuff. And I'm also sponsored by Los Cabos Drumsticks from New Brunswick. Oh, they're from New Brunswick. Wow! And they give sounds me, like they could be from Mexico. They, uh, they, they <laughs> yeah, even, like, I, like, I kind of just took, took a shot in the dark and made a video of me being a retard on stage, and then gave it to him. I was like, "Hey, you should give me some stuff." Yeah. Like, I already, like play, I already play your sticks and your Canadian company. I've been so. playing your sticks for like ten fucking years. Nice. I, 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 I had a, a, a picture of probably about two hundred broken drumsticks that I'd saved up because I was like, I'm going to save up these drumsticks and I'm going to get endorsed by drumstick company. And I've had. And then plan. you did. And yeah. I, I laid them out, took a picture of them, and then I I made a bio and I had a good friend like Jordan, his his fiance. Uh, she's a, a writer for I think Cochrane Eagle. She doesn't work there right. anymore. But uh, yeah. so yeah, no, I, uh, I had Allison, her, right? Yeah, yeah Allison, I had yeah. her write a bio for me, and she fucking killed it. She made me sound really awesome. <laughs> like, <clears throat> really, I'm like, so I, re- I read it at night sometimes. I was like, oh, oh, <laughs> it's so <laughs> nice. Is, is, it, is it is it is it always <laughs> difficult to try to write something about yourself and not try to sound douchey about it? You know what I mean? It's like, fucking impossible, no, it, especially when you're trying to make yourself look. I'm so self depraving, and it's look, like, oh, I haven't it sounds so fucking, fucking that sweet. And, but she killed it, and uh, so I sent it to him, and they're just like, yeah, the, you'd be perfect. Cool, they, yeah. they they give me such a good deal and they encourage me just to like you know throw sticks at people, which I I love doing. I don't know if you know that, but I love just talking <laughs> yeah, sticks. Yeah, you gotta watch that. Man. <laughs> <laughs> I saw somebody the other night. It was like, don't poke an eye out. That's all. Oh, uh, I a girl got in the face the other night too. Yeah, and she was yeah. not expecting it. No, she was not expecting it. Oh. <laughs> it was like, did you see that thing on the internet with that? They're like looking at their phone at a basketball game. That chick got a, that old woman got a basketball like right in the. Face. Oh wow! Like came flying up the court and just boom! <laughs> like, like Grandpa went for it, but he totally missed. Uh, and I feel bad because I like I try to do more of a lob approach because yeah, just, maybe arc. More but up. no, at Dickens you can't. Like, I, 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 but the reason is true. like the lights, the lights are the lights at the so strong. I can't see anybody. I can't see the That's front. True. You see the front row, and then I kind of just like gonna lob them. And near the back and stuff. Yeah, apparently I got a girl right in the face. And I, I feel I didn't, awful. I did I feel, not see that. I feel That's... awful about it. But it should be mentioned that 
someone threw a stick back out of the crowd <laughs> during that show, at which I caught and continued playing with, and just like gangster. Oh. Slim Slim said he got on video, and I'm really oh, excited man. to see that because that is. Oh, <laughs> When does that happen? <laughs> I don't you 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 did that. Uh, we, we played at Daywalker too one night and fucking. Yeah, Emerson. it's yeah. like I I throw Fuck sticks all the time. Sometimes people throw them back and it's just I don't know. I'll try and catch it every time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Why not? Fucking a. Uh, what kind of symbols and stuff do you? Uh, I use anybody? Sabian symbols, but I'm not exclusively. I no, no. No, I I they they're way too. Whoever's hard. got the fucking good deal going. Yeah, right? exactly. Whatever's yeah. whatever's, whatever's cheap. Whatever good shit. Yeah. No, that's no. I play. Uh, very large like 20s and 22s for cymbals because I only play with two of them so you know just more I'm not a attack kind of guy I'm more of a like a, a, a wall of sound yeah beef just, yeah there's not much like attack on the cymbals where it's necessary to have a bunch of splashes or just like quick accents yeah yeah there's no yeah. quick accents in Doberman whatsoever it's, it's fucking awesome <laughs> it's uh it's <laughs> rock and roll drums yeah man. <laughs> when they first asked me to be in the band I was like you know you guys are in cataplexus right like, you, you know that right like, <laughs> like, we want you to play drums in this new band I'm like well you guys are in cataplexus <laughs> like, yeah yeah and Dave <sighs> has been one of my best friends since high school he's the person I know the longest out of anybody I yeah, know you've got, cool. you've, got pic- you've got pictures of him from high school which we were I in a, found we were in like our hilarious. first band together like freaking 15 years ago in Kamloops and then we kind of disconnected a bit and then he came back here and we got reconnected again and then he's in Cataplexus and then uh, and Triton yeah and Triton fuck and Triton, yeah 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 I wanted to say uh, you know thanks for playing the show the other night with Excess Fries it was it was Excess uh, Fries headline they're on tour uh, go check the last podcast for all their links. Uh, uh, Doberman and then Triton and his last words. Yeah. I was so happy. So many people were excited to see Triton for the first time because they've, they've played a lot. Including yeah. Me. Yeah. They were awesome. Yeah, they, they were really fucking good. And I've known really this for so long. <clears throat> so have I. Because like, uh, we jam right next to each other. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all that's, of that's, us what was, that's what was funny about that show. It was like three bands, like us and Triton jam in the same jam spot in his last words and you guys right fucking next yeah, to yeah like we're all like, within one we, we share the circle. fucking wall together and then yeah. you know well we blew that breaker one night remember that yeah, was yeah, that a yeah. cataplexus jam no, no it was, it was Dober Dober jam. Yeah. yeah we were because, jamming late that night and it's like yeah, yeah once I got my rig going and he yeah, had the, his rig the going the fucking power hound over oh, there oh <laughs> yeah yeah fucking watts or whatever it is yeah, yeah, whatever. And like, yeah. but like, I, I've <laughs> seen Triton every time, and I know the guys in that band really well. Uh, Steve, the guitar player, we played in Tree Burning like eight years ago. Fuck, he together. was in Tree Burning. I didn't yeah, know that. Yeah, yeah. So huh. like, I and I, wow. that's how I first met I've these known fucking Steve guys. forever, and yeah. this is, I think, is his first band since Tree Burning. Yeah. And mm-hmm. fuck, so we've we've been like trying to get them out to like, you gotta play these shows, you gotta play these shows, and then. That was the first time. Was like finally we we're like, oh, we're gonna play together. Now we're gonna play the next four shows together. Not so if you don't it. like Doberman and Triton, you're not <laughs> yeah. gonna like the next four shows. Yeah. So. Go go to the club. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hit, up, hit up the Roadhouse before they close. Yeah, yeah, totally. the fuck. yeah the, I heard the Roadhouse is closing. You better go there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of like that. You know, it, who? What's is that? Aaron's girlfriend. <laughs> like who? It, the, the, yeah, there's just yeah. these <laughs> two girls that keep coming to the shows. That was totally it's that the girl, second yeah. time I've seen, and the first time he did it, it was so funny. Like she's like trying to get him out on the dance floor, like during this brutal metal band. And she's out there dancing, like she's at the club, you know, and like trying to get him out on the dance floor, like dancing. And then he just like steps back like two feet and just starts throwing down like <laughs> hardcore dancing, fucking swinging his fists, like ninja kicking in the air and shit, and. Oh. She just has a stunned look on her face and then just starts laughing and she's like, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> and then he gets on stage and just fucking bro. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> and she's out there dancing. I remember that. I remember while we were playing no. that, that the Stab Twist Pull C release, I remember while we were playing, looking out that, and being yeah. like, there's a mosh pit and then right Two directly girls, behind two girls it, dancing. two girls just sexy dancing. I was like, "Wow, this is like." Well, and they're all done up like they're. Yeah, 
Like, that's what <laughs> Doberman brings out in everybody, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> obviously. Yeah. obviously. Yeah. Well, they dance out into the middle of the pit, and these guys would stop. And yeah, yeah, everybody's all like, weirded out. Like, <laughs> yeah. We can't hit them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do we do here? What do we do? Yeah, it's, it's like, like a cheap you, shot you, the club, girls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> are you hearing the same music that we are right yeah, now? Totally. Or? <laughs> yeah. But hey, man, yeah. fucking whatever. Just wait for that to Teach their, their own. Is that so you enjoy music? Fuck well, them, hey, that's been the big... Um, goal kind of of big nate productions is like why is ozzy sold out but there's no like you know nobody at our shows like fucking let's Man, bridge the gap a little is bit it fucking you know? crazy when you go to some of those like bigger shows and quotations you know and like you see all these fucking, fucking people and it's out. like everyone comes out of the fucking woodwork it's like where the fuck are all these people all Sixteen thousand people are standing here right now yeah but you you'll never come to where's even show. like a third of you people yeah. yeah like well i mean we can't really compare ourselves to black sabbath either but no, you know no, still no. like it's but, fucking but, rad music but, but i mean if then lots of times like lots of those people that would go to something like that there's crossover into liking the same kind of like heavy music of some sort right and it's like yeah. by the way there are fucking local shows all the time with really fucking good bands that you could see you know like yeah, a lot see fucking cheaper a lot yeah. cheaper and go see what's in your backyard get the yeah, fuck man. out of your house right yeah, yeah. Uh, pee break be right back <laughs> Yeah. 
Don't wake the witch. Don't, don't do it. Don't. So uh, I'm here with Doberman. Tell me about how many records you got. You got two two discs. One of them was like the first one was kind of a EP sort of thing, six songs, and then uh, we did a full length. We released it uh, last uh, August. Yeah, it's yeah. called yeah, it's called Ravenous. It's called Ravenous, yeah. Fuck yeah. We had Solomon Media do the artwork, and the guy oh, yeah. absolutely he took the idea of us having a naked girl with wearing a dog's face as a mask and a dead dog in a pentagram. He really took that idea and <laughs> yeah, <he laughs> really much, went with it. Pretty much went, uh, you know, literally with what we told Completely him. Completely literal, and made yeah. It, uh, yeah. Made it artwork, I guess. Fucking a, he he does all the he does that for me for yeah. uh, for Metal Fest and stuff. He's That's the awesome. Fucking yeah, best, he's good. Man. Yeah. He, uh, he does lots of the posters and stuff for the ship too, right? The ship and all the Dickens posters. Oh, wicked! Yeah, yeah, yeah. He does. Yeah, he's the. He lives in Nanaimo and he does all the art oh, wow. in Calgary. I didn't know <laughs> yeah. that. Oh, yeah, crazy. fuck yeah. Yeah, no, and he was actually really, uh, really good to deal with and stuff. It was you know, you you talk to him and you you know you get a response back right away sort of thing and it was yeah, uh, it was awesome. No, he's definitely on it. He's a good man. That yeah. Eric Dietrich, Solomon Media. Look him up. There, if you need art, or he does all my web stuff too. Fuck, he's two guys for me. Yeah, just check the links. Um, and, uh, he's two guy. He's the art guy and the web guy. Like he's, that, he's, that yeah. doesn't happen. Yeah, that basically makes you the guy. Like he's the guy. Yeah, yeah, he's the guy that makes me the guy. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> definitely. We definitely. Uh, we did both albums with Casey Rogers from Exit for recording, Yeah, yeah, fuck yeah. And fuck that guy. Where'd you do drums? We did drums actually at uh, was it what's your that. house called? Uh, <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah, you live out of town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so that's where we recorded both albums actually, all of it in my yeah. basement there. Fuck yeah, just uh, set up in the basement. El Rancho Fucking, Rapo, we yeah, call El Rancho it. Rapo. <laughs> <laughs> not not literally, but that's the name that has become you, to be known there's as. This, <laughs> uh, there's this back, funny. there's this back room, like the furnace room in this house, <laughs> and it's like you open this door and you're like basically stepping into a cellar, and they had a mattress back there. And I was like, oh my god! I close the door and I'm like, oh my god! I, sh- I don't think I'm supposed to see that. <laughs> <laughs> I can assure you, nothing <laughs> like this has ever happened there. But it's that's just for funny. preferred guess. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, pretty no, funny. Wow, but, uh, no, cool. So just, Casey just brought his rig out. Yeah, out yeah. We place? just fucking posted up for a fucking weekend, and mm-hmm. you know, got her done. The fucking the full length obviously great. took a little bit longer than that, but um, yeah. That's cool when you don't have to fucking pay that overhead. Yeah, absolutely. But, and, yeah. and don't have to worry about, you know, if you try to do it at a fucking jam space or some shit, other bands jamming and all that fucking yeah, shit going fuck. on, you know? like It was out of town, so it was nice because it gets you out of the city, and then you're, like, completely removed while you do it, and you put in solid days. Yeah. yeah. There's no distractions, and yeah. having a drummer like Casey, and as a drummer, that guy is so much better than me, and... <laughs> Just hit every day. He's just like, you could do better. He's like, I don't know, man. I don't think I can do better. He's like, you could do better than that. So like, come on. And then he's like, I don't, I don't think I can do better than that, man. I was like, it's like, do better. Or I could do it, I guess. And I was like, no, no, no. I'll <laughs> right, do it. I can I'll do it. it. Can do it. it. <laughs> yeah. And then I listen to it now, and I'm still super happy with the way the drums turned out because it's like. I still don't feel like I can play our songs as well as I did that day. Yeah, there's definitely some frustrating moments, I think, there for you during that, uh, we were witnessing, uh... Yeah. <laughs> it got a little hairy at times. It's just like, we're all friends, right? So, yeah. they think they can do, that you can do better, but you don't think you can do better than that. <laughs> like, I think what it was was, uh, Shane telling you you could do better, and then, then it was all game over from yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he, he, he asked, oh, thought we were striving for per- perfection on this album, and I was like, I fucking, I blew off the handle. Um. But <laughs> I did do That's better. What bass players are full. I yeah. did do better, so I, I don't know. Uh. That's what's funny is Casey's a fucking bass player too. Yeah, 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 I know, yeah. right? Fuck. <laughs> yeah, dude. Uh, I think I don't know if I've told this on the podcast. I think I'm on one of the ones I burned, but uh, I, I, a long time ago, Casey is walking down the road, and this was like 2007 or something. And I'm like, "Hey, man, what the fuck's going on?" Like he just kind of moved back to town and Caveat was going. I don't think Exit Strategy was even going yet. Yeah. And fucking, he's like, oh, I'm going to Mother's Music. I'm like, shit, so am I. So at this time, I only know that he plays drums. 
And then we get to Mother's Music, and he picks up one of those five thousand dollar F basses and plugs it in, and it's just a. <laughs> <laughs> it like, <laughs> it's just like fuck. It's like fuck you, man. Like, yeah, why, totally. And why? I think that's exactly. I was like, fuck, man. <laughs> like, like, fuck you, man. Like, I don't even play what? drums. I play bass, and fucking, you're like just owning it here. And then and he came like, out in truck and fucking. Yeah, you know, yeah. It was like just uh, crushing dude, and so much respect and, for that guy. But like, he's always at our shows. Like that guy come, like he comes out, and it means a lot when I see him out there. Mm-hmm. I feel like he's, he's critiquing me. <laughs> Which makes me go harder. Yeah, yeah. But, like, whenever I see him at a show, I'm like, all right, I gotta be fucking on my game today. <laughs> I don't think he's critiquing you. No, I, I know he he's not. Like it's, that all the just, time. Just, it's like I have, this, like I have this I have this rapist look all the time. <laughs> and, and, like, and I know I do, because sometimes, like, if I'm opening, like, somebody's coming in a door and I'm going out of a door, and it's, like, a woman, and they don't see me, they give me this look like I'm going to eat them or rape them. <laughs> never got that. <laughs> ever. One never? Time. No, never got that feeling? Okay. <laughs> I look like I'm well, 10. I get it all the time. Yeah. So. <laughs> it's kind of scary. I look like uh, I'm sucks. 10 and I'm 5 feet tall. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. I see it. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> yeah, you just don't. You get carded. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, thanks, man. <laughs> Missed a beer sale because of you. <laughs> I know, it's such a good deal, too. We and so I go to a different fucking liquor store. <laughs> You're staying in the car this time, Kevin. <laughs> Final wait in the car. Yeah. Um, but yeah, also, I guess I just mentioned, too, um, fucking, what was that guy's name that mastered the record? Um, oh, Adam Douches from, I uh, can't remember his company name, but he, uh, West something, West, uh, Google it, Nancy. I'm looking at you. Say, say, say that again. Uh, Alan. Alan Douches. D O U C H E S. It was here. See, he does like a lot of albums. And we had initially had this great idea. It's like, let's see if Kurt from Converge will mix and master our album. Mm-hmm. And we messaged him, and he's like, uh, it'll be a year. I'll do it, but it'll be a year. So and, like, and it'll cost this much money, which yeah, is, it'll be, uh, it'll be 1500 But he, he a song. started. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Yeah. That's what they charge. He That's started too like, much money. like, he gave us a bunch of suggestions. He was like, actually, you know what? If you want it quicker, contact these guys. And and turns mm. out they actually had just done uh, Burning Gats's album as well, and they're homies of ours and stuff, too. We played a bunch cool. of shows with them in Vancouver, and uh, yeah, did a really good job. Fuck yeah. This guy's done a lot of albums yeah yeah he's pretty and he's very fast and very oh. professional and he was like quite affordable <clears throat> and like the nicest dude to work yeah, with I feel awful that I can't remember his like <clears throat> company name yeah yeah what's his company name we're kind of fucking up on that why don't you just plug this in That's- we have we'll a new fix we have it a, in we post have, we'll- we have a new feature here at getting getting get hard studios oh nice Oh, it's it's that it's laptop re- back there. What? It's a screen, <laughs> oh. so that you can, so you can see. see what's going on on this computer. Yeah, here. maybe. Yeah. No, uh, no we're nope. pulling the pin. Fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> it is not a new feature. <laughs> it's it's a, it's, feature it's a half feature. Yeah. It's set up, but we're not using it. <laughs> it's a feature in progress. <laughs> um, awesome. So uh, the two records. What was the first one called again? It was just self titled. Yeah. Yeah, and, and then uh, ravenous. Ravenous. Yep. Self titled. We did all, like all the artwork ourselves. Cause oh yeah, cool. We just basically pulled random pictures off the internet and hope we and get Casey so did soon. all of that, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like mixing, mixing mastering. Master, yeah. yeah, cool. Yeah. And he did like a great job. We didn't want to like step on his toes when we went yeah, to yeah. the second record, but we just wanted to explore what it would be like to have someone else just just master just the record. Master it, yeah. yeah, and holy crap, does it ever make a difference, dude? It's these guys have the gear, man. A That's whole, what's fucked and a whole up. different ear. Like it wasn't like yeah, yeah totally. Like, he's, been, he's been listening to that shit fucking like mm-hmm. over mm-hmm. and over and over. like I'm sure you know exactly what oh, that's yeah. like, right? Like yeah, I'm being you, know? and you get kind yeah, of exactly. tired of it, right? Like you just like not tired of it, but like your ears yeah, almost won't you, pick up on the same things as, as a new guy would. You can't see the forest for the trees. Exactly is what yeah. ends up happening. Yeah, for sure. That's why I try to. I go. I do intense, and then I and go leave do it for a fucking bit. everything else. Yeah, and and it's like, yeah, it's gonna be two days before you get another. And mix. come back because to it again. I just did eight hours. Yeah. yeah, or like actually, I do four. And you're, I try to do four, like super intense, because after that, you're in the mixing phase. I find your ears, your ears get fucking your ears done after a while. Tired. They just They're get just burned. tired. And, and like done. the same with when you get a mix back, like as a band, like, when you get that mix back. Uh, and you're just like, oh, I want to change this. I want the snare drum a little louder. I want the guitars down here. Like, you start making these changes. Yeah. You got to limit yourself because you can make those changes forever. You can. Yeah. At a certain point, it's you a, have to stop. And but just... if you like have it in your brain, you get two. 
<clears throat> you get the the first one, then you 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 give them some suggestions. The first one's usually a, a major like a lot of yeah. things you will put out there, and then the second one you just kind of cut it down to a few things you want to change. And then you change, make one then... last one after that where it's all fine yeah. tuned, but you have to limit yourself. I just got there. Yeah. <laughs> I do, like tonight he's actually texting me right now going, I'm fucking listening to it on this, it's awesome. And it's been the second mix. Yeah. Like oh, yeah. fuck it. Like that's it. Yeah, you have to limit that, yourself because Well and it has to be that forever. good. Well and some you know, in I know I've been recording since uh, officially since two thousand and four. Yeah. And it takes that fucking long. To to realize it takes that long to realize all of these things. It, like anybody, sure, anybody can go and you know, for two thousand dollars you can build a recording studio. Yeah, like, yeah. You, know, you can it's go not, buy all like the, the gear and record you your band and you can buy a bus shit for two thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but the but the equipment it did. It's not like the old analog days where like a fucking board's like sixty fucking grand or some shit, right? Like if you can set up a yes. small studio, you can set up a a, a, a well equipped, reasonable studio for a, a decent price, right? Right. But if you go out and and you know with your cheap uncle and he's like, well, we should get Behringer everything because we can get way more of it for for way. You know, for the four thousand dollars, look at what you get. Yeah, yeah. Look yeah. at the stacks of gear. Yeah. yeah, but if it's all shit, then it's and then, so that's the first one you learn is you're yeah. like, okay, I have to get after you buy a bunch <laughs> of cheap shit, you're kind of saving some money, and then you realize that you're not saving money no. by rebuying all that fucking shit again. And everybody's mad. Yeah. <laughs> everybody's mad because they've already spent all this time, and you can't yeah. fucking even fix it at first because that's what's on fucking. Well, I, I think yeah. Casey when he so, did us, he fucking he just rented a bunch of shit. No, him. exactly. Yeah. So, so like then that, yeah. you, you get the good stuff. You get, like, that's what I was doing. I was doing that at a, a real big studio because they're, they're or well, quote unquote, like an official studio <laughs> because they, the gear they had wasn't that great. And there was stuff you could rent that was better. So I'd go yeah. rent. All, Casey and I did that together. We actually did. I'm not sure if they used it. I think they did. It was one of the Exit Strategy records. They did the drums way back in this huge room at uh, Slaughterhouse. Oh, okay. And that's what we did is we just set up a huge rack of all this awesome shit we rented. And if it's good and you know what it is, and like, you know, it takes 10 fucking 15 years. Like, yeah. Casey has that kind of experience too, where it's like they paid a bunch of money for a big record and it probably frustrated the piss out of them. Oh, yeah. Like, especially it, especially when all of them are capable and enough and of, of engineering it and recording it themselves. And they probably, you know, a lot less fucking stress on you when you do it that way as well. Too, yeah, right? so if you have the good mics, the good pre's, the good gear, and then and then you get the good performances, you know, like that's what it's fucking all about, right? Yeah, absolutely. So. I, I don't know if I could record with anybody else, though. I don't know. Yeah. As much as I hated it at the time. It's a just, friend being hard on you. He's, like, he's, so, a good he's thing. so critical, and it's like, it's awesome. Yeah. He doesn't let you fuck up. If there's right? some dick off the street, you'd be like, get fucked, numb nuts. Yeah. Because, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because you know yeah, even if and you people respect in my him, own, right? So, yeah. People yeah. in my own band, I tell them to fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> but him, I'm just like, I can't. I'm just like, you, yeah, you could probably play this better than me. I should yeah. probably just do it better. <laughs> and uh, that's funny because I'm pretty sure I remember Dave telling me the same thing because he did, he recorded uh, Triton, a bunch of the Triton yeah. stuff too. So it's just, uh, yeah. It's a friendly criticism, I guess. Yeah, that's that's uh, in my dream. I can't like as my producer boner dream is like fucking that OCL studio. So have you guys heard of this? No. I keep doing commercials. That's the one out of town, fucking, right? Yeah. You're plugging them hard? I know, man. It, 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 they have a Neve board. Yeah. It's like my producer comes I don't dream. know what that even means. It's a million dollar board. Holy fuck. They don't make them anymore. They don't make it. It's mm. like that Sound City. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Th- that's the same shit. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. Cool, and, man. And, and, this, is, and this is here? No. Yeah, it's just outside. It's in Langdon. That's fucking crazy, man. Because like, Yeah. That's- so, so like, if you wanted to get nuts, you know, I think it's like a thousand bucks a day at least. Yeah. But still, holy fuck. They're just the drums. Divinity did the drums out there. Oh, yeah? Yeah, everybody's going out there and just doing drums and then doing everything else. Right, yeah. <clears throat> Sasha's been working out, out there. Sasha was yeah. just on the podcast. And cool. Drums are the backbone. You want to make sure they're, they're solid. Yeah. Well, you do yeah. layer everything on the well, map. Well, the room. You need that big room sound, so the cymbals are fucking awesome, right? Yeah. Or, and, like, uh, that's always the problem with doing it in a basement, is that you don't get that full fucking epic cymbal recording. You just can't because the room's confined. It's like, 
I would all. <laughs> it would be like recording drums in here. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually That's contemplated that since I've been sitting here. <laughs> I, know, I, I, I just said that thought too. That's what made me laugh. Uh, I was like, why not try it? <laughs> I, would, I would totally record drums in here. <laughs> Take the table out. We're yeah. fucking good. Dump, yeah, I could that, take a couple of symbols off the drum kit and only have like a single symbol and <laughs> just really give her. <laughs> just fucking break it down. Yeah. Well, uh, let's. Uh, what shows uh, you guys got coming up again? Should we? Uh, do that? April seventeenth. April seventeenth. Uh, the night owl. The night owl. Um. Wait for well, it. May May first. May first, Palomino. I don't know. iPhone's not working for me. Oh, iPhone's fucking I'm up. Fucking up again. What's up? Uh, April 17th, Night Owl, May 1st, Palomino, June 4th or 6th, Calgary Metal Fest. Fuck yeah. yeah. That's, 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 all, we, that's all we got in the wings right now, so... We don't yeah. like... We, I don't know. We like to play sparingly. Yeah. So we're going to officially end the podcast right now, but we just got more beer, so we might get crazier. <laughs> <laughs> um, we'll decide here. Uh, we'll, we'll be the deciders of that, if you get more <laughs> podcasts or not. <laughs> Whether you like it or not, fuck you. If you I mean, take a how, how much did you pay? Zero. That's what I thought. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> um, this podcast is brought to you by. It's costing us more money than you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no doubt. We're paying to bring this yeah, shit to you. You better listen beers, to it. Fucking whole <laughs> joints. Jesus. You know what oh, you guys should do? Shit. You should do this too. You should talk to people. It'd be neat. Um, this podcast is brought to you by RightHookMics.com. Go there, buy a microphone, and start your own podcast. <laughs> <laughs> they're great. Buy five do, of them. They're great mics, by the way. I gotta say, you think you quality. can do better? Let's. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, this podcast is brought to you by BigNateProductions.com. Just go there. April third, there's a show, Calgary Metal Fest pre-show. Go there. It's gonna Nancy's be awesome. Birthday. Nancy's birthday party. Get the hype. Woo. 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 The hype machine be, uh, going. What, what is it? It's uh, Every Hour Kills, Oh Shit, Press Gang, Black Pestilence, Black Pestilence and there's Blood one more. Pig. Blow to Pig. Oh, yeah. What the fuck? And the Wheel of Death. It's the Wheel of Death, Metal. so we spin the wheel to see who goes. Oh. No, you're not yeah, killing you're, bands off, are you? No, no, no. No. <laughs> no, we're putting them up on stage. Oh, okay. So we spin the wheel. To see who to, goes first. At, yeah. at the time, the first band goes up. I remember playing a show like that one time. <laughs> and to see who headlines is what you said. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, no, we, we, oh. <laughs> we, we pick the order throughout the night. There is no such thing as a headliner, Kevin. It's whoever plays last. <laughs> They're all headliners. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Black yeah. Sabbath headlines. <clears throat> Don't yeah. in, plays last. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Uh, and go to Calgary Metal Fest. That way, then, oh shit, headlined Noctis. Yeah, they were the last. That band looks at Burns. dope in a bio. <laughs> I'm sure that's in their bio. <laughs> Do they have a bio? I don't know. Probably. <laughs> it's better than ours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We never headline Noctis. <laughs> so we're gonna play. What song are we gonna play? Uh, Spliff Burton, I think. Spliff Burton, which by is Doberman. obviously a play off of Cliff Burton. Is Gangster. It, is, it, is it Kevin? Thank it you took me a all, second. It's about our bass player. Because the guy's high as fuck all the time. <laughs> he uh, missed a jam because he thought it was Saturday. Like, dude, it's Monday, <laughs> man. Like, dead to, for real. To to his to his um fucking whatever. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Uh, he had just broken his arm while snowboarding with me, and oh, he, he so yeah. and he also <laughs> just when when you're not doing shit and you're sitting at home and the days kind of run into each other, so you can't blame him totally for that. But I do blame him totally for that. I know you do. <laughs> you guys uh, go way back. So I've missed a show because I was too hungover and I, I that's slept true. through it. That's that's true. So that was with Daywalker. Though. Yeah, was. we'll get into that another day. <laughs> well, we'll or get into not. that right after this. We're gonna <laughs> listen to Doberman. Yeah. Spliff Burton. Peace, folks. Thanks for listening.
But you could have had what you wanted If you only asked Needless to say We're back. That was Spliff Burton by Doberman. Get your shit together. Go to their band camp and give them all your money. We, our album's one dollar. One dollar. Like, in honor of Big James, what they did with the Platinum Project, Fuck our yeah, albums dude. will always be one dollar, and that is now one dollar. And also, it's only really one dollar because you can't fucking play it on your phone unless you have You can't make it. it free, yeah, because yeah. iPhones are fucking bullshit. So you have to make wow. it... So you have to actually make it so it costs money in order for you to play it. So that's hilarious. Yeah. Anyways, I uh, love the music business. Yeah. Thank you. That, <laughs> yeah. Thank you to anybody that has bought it online. There's not very many, <laughs> actually, very very few. But thank you, anyways, to those people. Fuck yeah. People stream it, so that's that's cool. Yeah. Download it though and keep it for life. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> or, or, or until your computer yeah, fucking yeah, dies. Yeah, exactly. Or until you just don't care. <laughs> just life. pay that other dollar and oh. give it to you again. I wonder how that works. Catch Anyways, that. I should look at... Like, if you buy a bunch of shit on iTunes and your computer fries, oh, they I'm still sh- have a record. I'm that, sure right? it's in the cloud. <laughs> the fucking cloud. That's the where they're moving most, all of us, isn't it? The fucking horse shit thing I've ever isn't heard of. Isn't that the uh, FEMA camp? No, I'm just joking. <laughs> uh, so, I, I was wondering... Uh, <laughs> I was wondering. I wanted to hear some uh, some ro- uh, road stories. Have you guys uh, toured? Has Doberman gotten out of Calgary at all? We've gotten out of Calgary. Uh, we played a um, bunch of shows in BC and stuff like that. Mostly. Oh yeah. Not so much anywhere else. We haven't really done like any extensive tours or anything right, like that. Right. But, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. But whenever you get, it's hard because we're in Canada, which yeah. is like Russia. I mean, it yeah, <laughs> yeah. You can't. It's really far. If, if, you're, if you're trying to tour in the winter here, you're fucking crazy. Geographic. And you know. But, um, yeah. We've done a bunch of trips, like Camels, Vancouver. You're um, doing that shit in the winter? No, no, no. God, no, no. 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 We don't okay. do anything in the winter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we <laughs> jam, and we, like, try and write an album in the winter. We usually try to record January, February. All of us hate the winter so much, yeah. so every year, we, we like, in January, you pretty much count on Doberman being in the studio. Hibernate like a good bear. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. We love, we love playing, but we hate loading gear in the snow. Yeah, <laughs> it's probably hard on it. Too. We've done like I don't know. We played Burger Fest in Vancouver last right, year, yeah. which is a big highlight for us. And went and played. What's uh, that Burger Fest? It is yeah, exactly. It's a fest of it's, burgers. It's exactly <laughs> what you think it is. It's Holy a fest fuck. of burgers. There was a <clears throat> there was a lot of fucking bands that played that night. They had you guys are so beefy. Thirty yeah. bands <laughs> that, that you got invited to play a Burger Fest. Burger Fest. <laughs> Thirty <laughs> bands over like four or five hours, and they they had a like a barbecue. And, like they sold burgers. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. It's ama- yeah. It, it amazing. They asked us to play this year. We just couldn't. Are you fucking serious? Yeah. They have a metal show, or are you the only metal band? Oh, no, no, it's, it's all it's hardcore. All, it's, put on, it's put on by, uh, from Johnny, who used to be uh, the singer of Anya, and now he's, uh, what fucking band is he playing? Bog. Now? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, Bog, yeah. Yeah, Wicked Dude, fucking, and that, that he show. He also puts on Taco Fest. Yeah. <laughs> but that show Amazing. was, that yeah. show was fucking crazy, because it was, like, this big fucking, like, hall kind of place, just open, and they had stages on on both sides so when Ooh. one band was done playing the other band was set up on the other side it was just fucking like that's sweet there was no time for fucking around there and yeah. uh yeah it was wicked it fucking was a lot murders, of people there man. that's yeah, it was cool wow that's amazing food and metal jesus yeah. christ Thank well you, it's man. it's it's like it's really nice because like you're always hungry you're like oh man i probably should eat something right now or else i'm gonna be shitty tomorrow <laughs> a burger yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, i'm too grab a burger like, somebody's just hands you a burger <laughs> as soon as you think about yeah. it yeah 
<laughs> I think they like last year they drank them out of beer like three times over. That's like, awesome. They, they, they drank all the ke- they drank yeah. all the kegs and they had to actually go get like cases of beer. And then they fucking finished that again, and it's like holy shit, we have to get more <laughs> beer still. We're doubling every time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. <laughs> We're getting twice as much every time it's selling out. Holy fuck. <laughs> Unfortunately for me at that show, uh, I had my fuck. As soon as I turned my amp on. I don't know what the fuck the deal was, but it popped a fuse, oh, and shit. I asked about, like, 20 fucking people, I'm like, yo, you're scrambling, because, you know, we yeah, gotta yeah. get fucking playing, I'm like, someone have a fucking fuse I can use, and the guitar player from uh, Burning Gats was just like, here, dude, just play my fucking head, and it was like, it was a completely different rig, so it was like, I was kind of thrown off a little bit, because it was, you know, not my shit, but uh, other than that, I mean, it was, yeah. it was pretty yeah. fun. Yeah, that shit, festival situation, right? Yeah. Fuck, a- anything the, can fuck especially, up. It especially was a house like, drum kit. And yeah. it, was, it, was, it was rough. It was a rough, <laughs> rough drum kit. It'd been beaten up. I'm, I'm a, like a real tone whore. Yeah, yeah. Like, and drummers never tune their drums anymore. People don't like take care yeah. of their sound to the degree that I would think most people... Like guitar players... Shit, fucking! They, they're always tuning. They're always making sure well, it sounds really good. Well, I think Drummers we all, never fucking do that anymore. I think we all know that if any band plays with a guitar that's out of tune, it's gonna be the fucking most awful sound. But people thing. play with drums mm. out of tune every fucking day. Oh, it's so bad for and the it, sound guy. And I fucking hate it. <laughs> you know, there's it, nothing you can for do. how long it takes. Like you set your drums up on stage because you should be ready ahead of time, anyways. So it's not like a oh my god, I gotta play now. Let's fucking yeah. and you panic. But like, you know how long it takes to like just tweak everything make sure it's nice and tuned before even before like Nate asked for the kick drum it's like people don't do that shit anymore no well they don't, I think it's just like magic wizardry to them oh, they are like they're gonna sound great. Are, uh, they're hot. <laughs> like they just can't fuck they sound really good in the jam room maybe they'll sound good tonight yeah yeah we'll just been banged around down the fucking stairs a bunch of times. They've been cold and they've been warm again, and it's like yeah. yeah. Well, I think up here, especially, yeah, it's a very day. you have to be. It's like how is it that day? Because and how we uh, live what? Well, what are we five thousand feet in Calgary? So it's like we're the elevation's high. Yeah, it's fucking dry. Yeah, and then no, all lately, these drummers or, think they can get away with it. Death fog. <laughs> we have death fog. Yeah, yeah, yeah what the, the fuck was that about? Eh? Yeah, that was gnarly. <laughs> Two days of death fog. Yeah. It was depressing, is what it was. <laughs> How does like, that we happen? We're in fucking oh, England. It was ice fog. The slight <coughs> ice. It's like Gotham. It yeah. It fucked weird. up. Without the like benefits of having a Batman. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> or a Joker. <laughs> or Two Face. Yeah. Or what did Arnold Schwarzenegger play? <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> wow, that diverted fast. Yeah, it did. Okay, we, the trick is to get back. Can we get back to what we were talking about now? Uh, shows on the road. Uh, show, oh yeah, shows on the road. So that Burger Fest, that was yeah, cool. That was then good, what? Yeah. Any other? Any other? Uh, uh, well, after Burger Fest, tour well, stories. Home, after Burger Fest, we, <laughs> <laughs> this is where it's gonna get fun. So after Burger Fest, we go to a party, obviously, yeah. like post Burger Fest party. Um, and you know it's a good party, but it's not a great party. So a bass player Shane, he doesn't party ever. He doesn't like even drink. So he's sleeping in his Jeep, which is what we took to Burger Fest, because we don't have a van. Like, <laughs> Oh, you don't want this fucking box. So yeah. <laughs> we're like, well, this, this party way. fucking sucks. Let's go to this other guy's party. So we do that and leave Shane in the back alley. And, like, <laughs> he was Vancouver. sleeping. We, we thought it was like, we thought, <laughs> it was, we thought it was more, you know, uh, courteous. You left him in an alley? Yeah, and we also thought the, the other bus? party was a lot closer. No, he, he, like, and, was, and, what, and, we, and we thought it was just more... You know, courteous to leave him sleeping there, and well, we don't uh, want to wake him up to come to another party to sleep in his fucking jeep outside too. Like, yeah, I don't know. So, so you left. ditched him, so but he leave- was in his jeep. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Sleeping in there. Yeah. Okay. So I'll tell you, the morning when we got those phone calls from him and those text messages, he was <laughs> not happy. <about> it. <laughs> I imagine, like, and, he, and he had to drive all the way back to Calgary. Like he knew that. <laughs> <laughs> And, uh, and we, uh, I think, were just still giving her this other party, and then like at like eight, and then, and then Shane <laughs> shows up and he's like, "We're leaving now." <laughs> oh shit! Guess we gotta get a fucking cab. Uh, oh yeah, he's like, "I'm not coming to your fucking." Yeah, house. we better get back here. Yeah, awesome. It was pretty funny. Awesome. He was not happy. And, and then, this is like not the first time we've done this. Like well, we did this to him in Kamloops like the night before. 
<laughs> Whoa. We also, we also, also that night we stayed at that hotel in, we got a hotel in Kamloops this one night and for whatever fucking reason, the whole way up there, it was Trevor Hatter's fault because he came with us to document the whole like, bunch of shows we were doing and stuff okay. like that. Takes, takes pictures. And, and uh, he started off with doing this Australian accent imitation. So then we all just kind of, it became the thing that we did. For and, five days. Yeah. yeah. Five and, straight days. Uh, so you turned yeah. into Australian dicks. Yeah, absolutely. And we were yeah. cranking. Yeah. Absolutely. We were cranking <laughs> land, land down under on Hastings <laughs> Street. Yeah, just cranking it. Oh, hey, fuck yeah. 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 Uh, That's hilarious. The six foot four like, and full of muscles. <laughs> Cam Loops hates Australians because of you guys. <laughs> but, uh, but we were in the hotel, and it was like probably we also had another another one of our buddies came down to see these shows. Like he lives in uh, in BC somewhere there, and he's a he's a pretty loud dude and pretty funny guy. And we were all pretty drunk. We were in the hotel, and it was like five in the fucking morning. We we're all still just yelling like a bunch of Australians. <laughs> and Shane just finally was just like. Fuck you guys! <laughs> fucking went outside, slept in his fucking vehicle in the parking lot. And we're just like, oh, I think he might be kind of actually mad. <laughs> Should we stop doing this? Obviously not. No, and then yeah. the whole ride to Vancouver the next day, we're like driving up beside him and throwing shit at his Jeep because we were trying to make a, we were trying to make a pat we were trying to make a pass off of cookies <laughs> yeah. down the road. Actually, is what it was on the highway. Oh, it was beef jerky or yes. something. Oh, vehicle beef to vehicle. Whoa. No, it was beef jerky. It <laughs> yeah. was beef jerky because my girlfriend made me a ton of beef jerky before. Wow. <laughs> She's like, you're going to tour. A Here's idea. a fucking metric ton. And of I was beef like, jerky. yo, dude, I want some fucking beef jerky. You're like, yeah, I'll pass it to you. So we're on the fucking highway on the Coca Cola, like doing, you know, fucking 120 and <laughs> trying to get close enough to pass off fucking beef jerky. And, uh,. Never made the pass. No, but and we I didn't kept wanna, throwing we did, jerky at him the, the whole way. We didn't want to. We didn't did not want to risk losing that whole bag. So. You know. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, I still. I think I still have some from that bag. That was <laughs> <laughs> two years ago. <laughs> Uh, well, you guys are fucking assholes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> pretty much, I'm pretty sure that's. Uh, sorry, I'll bring. Yeah. So Shane off. doesn't drink at all. Like, no, he, he does, but just not to the. I think the level of retardation. I think that right. even, even if he <laughs> knows he ha- even if he knows he doesn't have to drive, even though he knows he always has to drive, <laughs> I think he, like, he never drinks. Like, <laughs> he <laughs> he reacts accordingly, and oh. uh, yeah, he takes a lot of shit from us. I think because uh, pretty much. I sh- it so should be mentioned, though, that he played our last show with a fucking broken arm. Yeah, that's And true. I kicked my cymbal at the end of the show into his broken arm. I saw that. And, like, he was in fucking pain, and I felt I shitty. couldn't yeah. believe it when you did that, you <laughs> prick. Yeah, and he, he broke his arm that <laughs> hey, day. Hey, Shane, I, he's a prick, eh? <laughs> Fuck, I could I I saw that happen. You didn't do that on purpose. No, though. it kind of just happens. Sometimes, you didn't, you sometimes didn't, like, things just happen. You didn't like, see it, but I saw... I, at the end of the I, show, sometimes things just happen. So, like, I play it like a nice drum kit, nice stuff. I don't like to wreck it. I sometimes could, it just happens. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> really? I could see him, like, holding back how painful it was I, I, and I was like video, what the man. fuck just happened here because you're, the symbol like hit his elbow and that's exactly but, his arm was broken like right here yeah and he just had the cast off the other well, day didn't, or didn't something even, he didn't have, even have a cast on it they just told him like just to be careful with it sort of thing <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> don't play it no, don't have was, any symbols I, come it was, flying it was, at it was, it and was, you'll be like, good I went snowboarding with him it was like a couple weeks before that and that's how he fucking did it we like he hit this fucking jump and comes down and I met him at the bottom and he was just like we went up on the chairlift again, and he's just, like, holding his arm. He's like, fuck, like... I'm like, are you all right? He's like, no, I fucking bailed. And I was like, oh, fuck, like, really? I didn't even see that. And, like, we yeah. went to go back up, and he's just like, fuck. I was like, all right, you want to go back down? He's like, yeah, totally. Yeah. And uh turns out it was actually broken, so... You know what happens when a 300-pound guy does that? <laughs> <laughs> Do, That's why I don't snowboard. It also really. should be mentioned like, that Aaron, <laughs> Aaron, our vocalist, had broken his ankle on well, the didn't, same didn't jump. break it, like, he f- just fucked it right up. Like, yeah. Severely sprained it, but like yeah. on the same jump, like two weeks prior to this. Yeah, it's pretty funny. That so was like, just, oh, we haven't played a show a in three months, but the next show coming up, we got a fucking broken Stop ankle. Stop hitting that arm. jump. Yeah, it's, just, it's funny, man. <laughs> Is it that good? Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't do snow sports, and, an, and another one of their homies fucking on the same jump broke his fucking collarbone in two places on that Whoa, same one it it's sounds, all, all within the same three weeks sounds it's like, like a sketchy jump man. it sounds like a jump that's too big or something no it's just i think i don't know what it big, is it's just i think it's just got, it's made? got everyone's fucking number i guess man yeah pretty funny though is it poorly made is it bad I, bad geometry maybe it's like that's probably what it has good. to be is geometry but yeah, it's 
it's, uh, yeah. Anyways, that's why I don't do snow sports, because I don't fuck that shit. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> cool. Any other crazy tour stories? Except for fucking over Shane all the time? <laughs> that's pretty much like that. That really pigeonholes it, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, unfortunately, no. That was just a bunch more of those. <laughs> oh, damn. Uh, yeah. We love, like, the, poor like, bass players, man. Okay, when, we, <laughs> when we first started the band, and we we mentioned this to Nancy the other night, like when we first started this band, Jordan asked all of us, "Hey, we should try and start a band together." And he's like, "It's gonna sound like," but then he told us all. A completely different band. He told us what we wanted to hear. <laughs> He's like, "What's your favorite band? This is the band we're going to sound What's like." What's your favorite band? This is what this is going to sound like. Yeah. And then he basically rused us all into a fucking band. And <laughs> four years later, it's like, "Wow, Jordan, we finally we, like, we're finally figuring it out." Yeah. Four <laughs> years too late. Yeah. You're I mean. in, motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah, and we're way too deep now. I mean, at the same time, now. same time, it wasn't it wasn't a ruse so much. Like I would have done it anyways. Obviously, it's like fucking yeah, man. Totally, let's hey, do this. Play but with your friends. yeah, exactly, totally. Oh shit, I get to go play with my like hang out with my friends like two to three times a week. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Shit. Make the make all the music that we think is most crushing. Yeah. 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 Like you know, it, the writing process, right? Yeah, absolutely. You can you can turn it into whatever the fuck you want it to be. And I mean, I'd already been playing with Jordan for like six years already. So like the guitar, like you know, we know exactly how both. Of us kind of work and shit so yeah just, yeah totally and it was an opportunity to play with other people i hadn't played with before right so yeah i love shane's style he's good yeah i'm gonna just talk about bass players for the rest of the time now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, i, I feel like it doesn't happen enough <laughs> not enough people talk about the fucking bass player <laughs> but he, uh, he was having a chord issue the other night and he it's has instantly a noticeable yes. <laughs> you know you're like what, what Dude, if, at, at jam it's like if you know if you can't make it or something like that and we'd still jam anyways like there's a noticeable fucking something missing there right like the bass oh, just adds such an yeah. extra dynamic that like you it know. really does pop it into 3D yeah. absolutely it, like it hides a lot of my mistakes too I don't especially know especially if you Dr- don't have, especially if you don't have a keyboard player drummers Ooh. hide behind bass players <laughs> like, I feel like that's never necessary <laughs> but <laughs> we, we hide our like kick drums behind bass players like regularly if, I, if I'm tired or I'm fuck up a little bit just like sneak in the back there and hide behind him for a little bit what is what is cord gun plugs? Yeah, it's very it needs to be exposed. <laughs> <laughs> but when there's just that presence that just drops right out of there, it's fucking oh, yeah, that's what pops it out, right? Yeah, that's what makes it fucking all nice. And playing with like all these guys, like they they're the same as me. They don't sit there and just play. They like thrash about and like yeah. get Put neck, on a show, get have neck fun. pain on, on Sundays, just oh, like I God. have. Yeah. Getting fucking old, man. Not stretching enough before shows, and it fucking that's a it's that, painful the next two days. It's funny how much that makes a difference, <laughs> dude. It does. I know. You would think your I neck know. would still just be fucked. I'm feeling yeah. it too. Like, <laughs> if you stretch like, good, yeah, you're fine. Yeah, it's weird. I'm one of like the very few drummers these days that don't. I don't do any warm up. I don't know. Like oh, yeah. some of the drummers I've come you know, in, I, come in cold. Get the claw first song yeah. in. <laughs> <laughs> just spit on her and dive right on yeah. her. Nice. I uh, I stretch, I, like I stretch a little bit, but I always kind of just like just get in there and and have a go and see what happens. Fuck yeah. And like I, I like I witness guys warming up and stuff, and it's like I respect, I respect, no, <laughs> I, I respect yeah. the shit out of that, but I just I don't have the discipline, I guess, to just fo- like just. Like warm yeah, up. I'm usually too. Yeah, t- you're also like you know. I mean, I'm sure there's drummers sitting here right now going, "Well, yeah, but he's not hitting four million kicks an hour." That's also yeah. very so, true. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's what they would say. Yeah, so absolutely. I mean, which is, I love it. <laughs> I've know? tried Good to completely like phase double bass out of our. Yeah, play do you even entirely. have a double kick? I do have a double bass player double for kick one pedal? song on each album. Huh. Wow. Other than that, it's just fucking uh, Andrew WK party beats going. Party? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's, that's like my favorite. Party. That's my favorite beat in the entire world. Like, boom, 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 boom. When it's time to party, we will party hard. <laughs> yeah, and like in every song, I always try to have like a party beat part. And then every time I do it, everybody's just like, yeah. yeah. I was like, I know, right? Like, <laughs> there's a, I know. There's, there's a reason it's called the party beat, because I don't give a fuck how many times you use it. You're, you're right, always you're just going to be like, yeah. 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 <laughs> shit that makes you want to bang your head. It's uh... And I have like so much respect for double bass players. That shit is fucking nuts. Oh, and yeah, I, yeah. Like, I dabble, yeah. but 
Yeah, yeah, but you're not. You guys are not a technical death metal band. Not at all. You know, right? Yeah. So that's the first thing I said cool. when they said, "Hey, you want, you want to play in this band?" It's like, "Well, I'm a rock drummer." Like you know that. Like, well, and and that was the thing is that like it was a, it, was, it was a beats. chance for me and Jordan to to, to play. We're like, this isn't going to be another fucking grind band. Like, that's not what this is supposed to be, you know? You're going to come yeah. with this black metal riff. Like, literally, we have a song called Black Metal, mm, yeah. and it's just trim picking. Yeah. And I'm just like... With, with rock and roll. With a nice little backbeat. It. I'm like, yeah, yeah, this, yeah, this is it. This is this is what we're going to do. Yeah, yeah, cool. And then Fuck it, yeah. it worked, and that became, I don't know, whatever song it's called, because I don't know any of our song yeah. names. we know the jam mm-hmm. names. We don't know the actual I can titles. Give you every yeah. single, <laughs> I can give you all the working titles. <laughs> Currently, we have... Uh, you can play them. We have Big Shiny Tunes. But that's actually the name of that song, because we now have a shirt that we just made. Big, with big Shiny Tunes. Big Shiny Tunes, because yeah, yeah. I think that's fucking hilarious. We have uh, Jacques hilarious. Jams. Yeah, Jacques Jams. Yeah. Dr. MDMA and D. Yeah. Uh, and I think that's... Uh, those are the three new hits. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, those are the ones that haven't been recorded to an album yet. So. We were going to record awesome. recently, but then we decided we, we have a bunch of shows coming up, so we should invest it in merch since we had nothing. Right. And we, I think we thought we were more prepared than we really were at the time. So. <laughs> that usually happens. Yeah, so That's it's like, fun. why fucking just waste some time and shit right now? and uh, Waste Casey's time. Yeah, we'll come back to it yeah. and get it done later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll have some kind of 7-inch, I guess, maybe yeah. the end of this year. Nice. We want to do 7-inch because vinyl's cool. Have you done any vinyls? No, no. You, no. Just the two CDs. Yeah. 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 Straight yeah. fucking CD is the most it's disposable fucking cassettes. thing. <laughs> yeah. Cassettes, I tell you. Yeah. What? Uh, I'm oh, not going to do cassettes. I don't that's even more, have that's more like a, I don't have that's a cassette more like a player. Grind, I listen to music every day. Kind of thing, right? Fucking cassette tapes and shit. They're like... Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I mean, it's in, why not? Why not to uh, whatever? It would be ideal to put it on everything. Fuck. Yeah. Don't you think? Like all of them. If someone else was paying for it. Do you sure. want this in vinyl? The funny and, thing is, though, uh, putting shit on tapes yeah. is like the cheapest form of fucking. It's anything. so cheap. It's fucking cheap as fuck. It costs like nothing. Yeah. It's actually for pretty new awesome. tapes. Yeah. yeah. To get stuff printed on tapes, like a hundred dollars for like fifty tapes. Are you fucking yeah. serious? Yeah, it's cheap, man. I didn't know that. It's yeah, way yeah. too. It's, 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 it's I really I too cheap. I'm not, I'm not going to try to quote prices because that, that I don't, you know, really know. But I know that the, there was a substantial difference between that and CDs. Why? Well, yeah. yeah there's. A, yeah, we just repressed our first CD because we sold out of it really fast. But when we initially bought the CDs, we bought you know 300 CDs, but only 100 yeah. jackets. Because <laughs> we're cheap, like, and we're like, like there's we're no way gonna we're going to sell 100. We're not going to sell 100. Like, like, come like, on. Like, and then we did. And then mm. it took us like two years before we are like, all right. <laughs> more jackets. Well, let's get some more jackets. <laughs> well, no, when it happened, we, then, we, then we recorded the, the full length, and so we put that out, so it was like, you know. We would rather push this hey, one. Yeah, exactly. Hey, investor dick, if you're actually listening to this right now, <laughs> just send like a million dollars to Big Nate Productions at gmail.com. <laughs> Just fire that shit over. And he'll, fun, and he'll fund some CDs and, and, and we'll shit. get everybody. We'll yeah. have every format. It'll be amazing. <laughs> get it going. Laser yeah. disc and shit. Laser, yeah, disc. laser disc. We'll bring it back. Remember how fucking the ridiculous video. those things were? Oh, <laughs> Jesus. We'll bring DVDs back and shit. No, DVDs are still happening. It's VHSs that we'd be bringing back. Remember when we fucking watched one of those, like, when yeah. we were staying in that one hotel, fucking VHS. Oh, the Maverick, the Maverick and Kamloops. That yeah, was a, yeah. On the Daywalker we wa- tour. We watched uh, fucking uh, Terminator Com- Two. Com- no, it's Commando. Commando, yeah. We had we we like the hotel has like a lot like a whole hallway a VHS of VHS th- movies. And they got you could VHS rent. Is in like rooms. a dollar. Yeah, you have to, they 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 have to ca- charge something because like the the rights to have them to rent them to people and shit, whatever. <laughs> so it has to be a dollar. It's ridiculous, but we rented like seven of them. We only watched one. Yeah, we're I think also we all tired. Out. We ate shit, like the, the hotel was built on top of a Chinese food restaurant too, and like it was like a free for all on Chinese food. Nice. <laughs> uh, it was just it was just funny. Like I haven't haven't watched the VHS for probably you know since I was probably ten. You know, like mm-hmm. and. Just the the nuances of like the like the yeah. fucking shitty like fucking moving around f- picture and like yeah. I don't know making that yeah. weird sound yeah. yeah and even back then the quality was horrible it was awful like remember yeah. re- having to TV rewind it before you even yeah. played it. it really was bad it was like <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> the We're whole seriously. like having a special machine definition. just to rewind your mm-hmm. VHS oh, someone made someone made millions <laughs> uh, off of inventing Corvette. a fucking fast yeah. rewinding right. machine Corvette. the yes, Corvette dude. rewinder and like man I never had that shit when I was a kid if you had one of those things that was like okay you guys have like 
your family must be pretty well off that you have a fucking tape yeah. rewind. Well, remember how leg. fucked you got if you didn't rewind? Oh yeah, yeah. it was like three fucking Dad, dollars. Yeah. So pissed. Two ninety five. But then they have the speed rewinder at the fucking till there, like where they fucking pop it in, and it's like that cost me like three extra dollars. Like, yeah. you know, it's funny though. Every single one of those companies is out of business now. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> uh, for sure. Anybody who's ever rented anything is out of business. Yeah. Dude, so, so are the fucking... Uh, even those red boxes, they're gone now, too, from... from oh, are they? Yeah. Yeah, really? yeah, they're leaving Canada right away, and it's like... Interesting. Yeah. I thought that was, like, the answer to all that shit. Like, they're, they're the ones that put Blockbuster out of business, and, and now they're out they of put, business. And they put them <laughs> at 7-Eleven, like, the best place. Yeah. Like, yeah. If, like, if it, anywhere it, is going to make it... And it's, and it's like place. two bucks to rent a movie. It's like, you know, that's reasonable, especially in fucking 2015, like two dollars, like whatever. And they're still fucking done. Because Netflix probably reaping the benefits of that, I guess. Eight dollars a month? You can't really beat that. Yeah. Uh, yeah I marathon the shit out of Netflix today. <laughs> Holy <laughs> fuck, like a good solid seven or eight hours today. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, my parent, I don't have it, but my I have cable still, like an asshole. Yeah, I got cable too, man. And uh, it's not. Like but Netflix. my parents had it at Christmas, and I was like, "Oh my god, the whole entire twenty-two episodes of Conspiracy Files." <laughs> oh yeah. Yes. Like, Nine I mean, I was like, oh, seasons. Three, 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 days, three days later, you come out of yes. the basement, fucking like, oh, I got to shave. <laughs> I need a shower now. <laughs> like, fuck. Uh, Arrested Development was my poison today. Oh yeah. Me. It's a good show. David Cross, he's man, dude. Guy. That's a, that, he makes that fucking show. I dude. crushed he's a couple the seasons best. today. I think yeah. in and out of a coma because, <laughs> like yesterday, it was a rough day, and then today you always feel worse in the neck the second day after a show. I think yeah, and Sundays is always the worst. Okay, it's funny. So never any hookers on tour. Never any explosions. No oh. explosions, Eric. Uh, <laughs> never, <laughs> never, never Does Eric know anything about explosions? <laughs> he's got a good one. But um, it's a good cataplexus story. Yeah, that was more so cataplexus than it was. Oh, oh yeah. So just tell Let's the go. people uh, that person really quick who, uh, <laughs> what other bands you play in? Just really, you pl- I play, play, I play, play in, or played in. I play in Gnosis currently. Yeah. It's like a stoner rock band. Um, and and then you guys were in Day Daywalker together. Uh, me and Eric were in we were, Daywalker yeah. before. Yeah, were, yeah. Daywalker. And uh, that Daywalker. band is dissolved now. And yeah. uh, I used to play guitar in cataplexus as well. Cool. And. Uh, yeah, left that band in September. So yeah, because we were super busy with Daywalker, so which broke explosions up. Explosions on Cataplexus tour. Oh fuck, man. We okay. We were driving uh, through. I don't even know where the fuck this was. Like somewhere in Interior BC. We played a show in Williams Lake, and um, there was a place called Fireworks Warehouse. And Williams like, well, Lake. That that wow. yeah right yeah. That's way up there. Oh yeah. Fuck. There's a map right there. Is it on it? <laughs> I doubt uh, it. There's no way. No, Prince George. But it's it's fun. north of Edmonton, right? Uh, I, it's I, like I actually, like if you're going to because like we did this on the Kelly it's northern, tour. It's northern BC somewhere. Like is it? Are you in BC? Yeah, yet? it's it's, oh, it's right. definitely BC. So it's like if you go from Grand Prairie, you down. Can go. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's it's I, I it's somewhere in the middle there. I'm, I'm not actually like it's entirely way the sure. Fuck, it's, it's way. It's kind of out of the no. way of most of the places that you would end up at, and. There was a like I said, there's a fucking place on the highway called the Fireworks Warehouse. So we're like, obviously we have to stop here. And there was like the five of us, so we all bought a shitload of fireworks. And since we bought so many fireworks, they were like, huh. we will just give you one. You, we'll give you guys one for free, so you can pick one out. So we picked out this fucking huge like brick looking motherfucking thing. It was like an eighty dollar firework, and it was called Jack Frost. And <clears throat> we ended up. Saving all these until we played a show in Vancouver, and we were staying at my one buddy's place, who's like, it's East Van, like, just, you know, a little bit outside of downtown, and there was, like, a park close to his house, so we went there and fucking fired off all these fireworks, and we're not really thinking this Jack Frost thing is gonna be Mm -hmm. some sort of a, like massive fucking thing that it was and some sort of nuclear it it seriously firework. was the fucking craziest goddamn firework I've ever fucking lit off in my life and this is like four in the morning in a fucking public park <laughs> in the middle of fucking downtown fucking Vancouver so we all fucking fired this thing off and it blew my fucking mind I still have a fucking video of this shit on my phone I've showed so many people and they're just like Jesus Christ that's a fucking firework you bought at the store and after it was done we were like holy 
fuck. Let's get the fuck out of here. Just booted it out of there. We heard fucking sirens coming, like, right after that. And it was like, oh, Jesus. Like, <laughs> Didn't they stop Dave, though, and ask him? That, oh, that was in Williams Lake. Actually, yeah, we fired... I had, I had these other things called these fucking... Uh, they're like a bombs or some shit. They're like a little thing you're supposed to stick in the ground, and it fires up and just goes boom, super loud. Mm. And the cops ended How up the showing fuck up. Is do they have those fireworks up there? How is that? Is I, that like through Alaska or something? What no, the- like they have, you can buy fireworks. You can, it's it's a side of the road in the middle of the fucking highway. This it's place everywhere. called it's Fireworks Warehouse. It was a fucking <laughs> store <laughs> filled with that them. in the states, but not yeah, here. no. And it you was never see it, it was fucking no, awesome. Except those small for Winnipeg, towns, the small yeah, towns. yeah. yeah. So then the cops fucking show up, and uh, we knew why they were there, obviously, because I just fired <laughs> off like fucking six of these things, and it's like a massively loud boom. We were in the middle of this valley, and so they echoed off this fucking place. And it's a small town, <laughs> Williams Lake. Like, yeah, and this cop shows yes. up, and he's like, "All right," and it's like five different people, like in bands and shit, standing outside in vans and shit. It's like, okay, so obviously this is where coming this is coming from, from <laughs> like, right? And they see all of us, and they're just like. You know, he's like, okay, so seriously, like, what, what's like, what's going on over here, guys? Like, we got reports of gunshots, and we're like, oh, I, I don't, I don't know, man. Like, that definitely wasn't <laughs> us. Like, we weren't shooting guns out here. Like, no I don't guns. know. And then, okay, no D- Dave denies this, but me and Jordan are still fucking quite like sure this is what happened. He goes, well, I, I don't know. Like, I saw a bunch of kids uh, running around down there popping balloons, or <laughs> he's like, <laughs> 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 the cop looks, he's like. Are you fucking kidding me right now? <laughs> Do you actually believe, like, expect me to believe that you think that that was people popping balloons? Like, seriously, what's they going on here? They were balloons, yeah. officer. <laughs> yeah. They were filled with hydrogen, and we lit them on fire. Like, <laughs> uh, it was morning, serious. yeah, and, 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 like, <laughs> yeah, and, uh... The UFO crashed. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, he just, he, it, we just denied it, denied it, denied it, and he ended up leaving, and he's like, if I hear anything else, like, you know, fuck you guys. <coughs> yeah, stop and, lighting off explosions. Yeah, and then so th- then we f- the next year we did the same thing with Cataplex, and we were touring with uh, uh, Galgamex at the time from Vancouver, and we bought a bunch more fireworks from the same place. And we were s- these people so generously <laughs> offered to let us all of us <laughs> stay so at well their house the first time, <laughs> and then we like decided at like three in the morning to fucking run down the road. There was like an open field kind of thing, like a block away from this person's house, and we had a fucking like Roman candle fight, like. <laughs> There's ten of us all shooting Roman candles at each other, firing off all kinds of fireworks. And when we get back to the house, there's a cop car sitting in the driveway. Oh, because he's a cop. Because, <laughs> because we had two tour vans sitting there, like, covering, yeah, right. you know, like, yeah. it's like fucking obviously. Let's find the source of this. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so we, we start talking to him, and um, he goes, he's like, you guys uh, firing off fireworks and shit down there? Or like, no, nah, fuck, that wasn't us, man. No, no, like, no man. way. Definitely not any of, like, no, right? And, <laughs> like, but we saw a bunch of kids running down the road there. I think it was them. He's like, ah, oh, fucking little bastards. And he's like, he's like, so what are you guys, a band or something? And, uh, the singer of Galgamax also was a singer for, um, Zuckus from okay, Vancouver. And they're yeah. like Star Wars grind. Star Wars porno yeah. grind. And, yeah. and the cop is <laughs> like, oh, that. fuck, you sing for Zuckus? I fucking love that band. And we're like, what? I know, isn't that fucked Star up? Star Wars <laughs> porno grind? Yeah, yeah. and yeah. this fucking and cop happens. in small town Williams like loves this band, so we end up just sitting there chatting with him for a while about shit, and he's just like, all right, fucking take it easy, guys. See you later. Yeah, you fired them all like, off? Yeah, cool. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. He's <laughs> like, all right, all right, take it easy, guys. We'll fucking see you later. We're just like, are you fucking kidding me right now? The one know. time it's worked. Like. Yeah, yeah. It's just, yeah, it was pretty funny. And of all bands to be recognized from, man. Yeah, <laughs> like, right? Yeah. But, uh... Yeah, Williams Lake, when Kelly Kai was on, we did a You guys tour. played there, too? Well, we didn't, we, no, we drove through there. Ooh. And it was the historic height of gas prices. Oh, absolutely. Like, it was, it was in, um, March of 2008. Oh, okay. And we paid, like, a dollar... 59 oh in my Williams God. Lake for Ouch. fucking a per liter. Yeah. So you Americans can go do all that. If there's any Americans listening, do the math because I'm not doing it. Yeah. Well, it's like six bucks a gallon is what it fucking is. Which 160 is a liter is like fucking double the gas price right now almost. Like we're around like 80 something, right? Yeah, like, thank fuck. Keep yeah, down. exactly. Uh, yeah. Uh, when, on our way to Williams Lake, it was fucked. We were having these weird, uh, van problems and uh like so we were stuck in edmonton for a couple days 
working on this van. And you guys managed not to get stabbed, hey? (laughs) Uh, uh, Yes. Um, So we're driving. We miss our gig in Grand Prairie. And we're driving. I believe we were coming into Williams Lake. We might have been coming into Grand Prairie. I think we were. And, yeah, and be- Williams Lake are not close to each other, you know. That? No, I know, but that's, that's, that's what we were it's just that. outside of Kamloops, between Kamloops and Vancouver. Oh, okay. I grew up in Kamloops. Yeah, like we were going Williams to Lake Prince was like George. Place you don't go. Oh, we were going. We were going from <laughs> yeah, Grand, Grand Prairie to Prince George would make we're, sense. Yeah, yeah, we were going Edmonton, yeah. Grand Prairie, Prince George, and Williams Lake's in between. That's there, a right? that's a nice drive. Yeah, it's between, not like well, Kamloops to Williams Lake. So our our van is like. <laughs> fucking up and then like we did all this stuff to fix it and then we're like yeah we're good now but it kind of wasn't really good so then in between I believe it was Grand Prairie you just Williams, told like, yourselves that there, it's, there was, it's fine it's good yeah yeah totally we gotta go <laughs> we all well, we'd that. been there for like two or three days and we had done a bunch of shit to it and fuck it was running and it was good and we were like we're good um, oil change. So, we so did then oil change. The, <laughs> actually, we changed the carburetor and the oh, coil and carburetor. like a bunch of shit. Yeah. We changed. So we yeah. <laughs> thank you for asking that because we changed the carburetor. So now, like, and I remember we unhooked the cruise control. So we'd be going like we'd be. Dri- I'm driving <laughs> this van. Okay, yes. We're, I, I'm dri- we got six guys in the van and then um, a trailer with no brakes behind us. <laughs> The best and, kind. And <laughs> the only kind. The, the cheapest fucking trailer we could get. And then, so, we're going up the hill, and I take my foot off the gas, and it's climbing. <laughs> so, so then, like, we well, go, we, we go the down the hill. This is should be happening. We go down the hill, <laughs> and then it starts, <laughs> like, just floored it. I take my foot off the gas, and... You're doing a 90 down the hill. <laughs> Was it this yeah. van? Was it this van? No, no, no. Oh. <laughs> no, no. <clears throat> like... We go down the hill, I take my foot off the gas, and it's gaining. <laughs> and then it was these weird, huge, big, like, so they're not I, I remember that fucking drive, man. man. Yeah, yeah, they're I, like these I've big, lost yeah. a lot of vehicles long. growing up in Canada. So, I've lost so, so many vehicles on those hills. And then I remember one of, uh, like, I think it was uh, uh, Vegas was sitting up in the front seat with me. He's like, is everything cool, man? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, like, <laughs> nothing. And then, and then nothing, so, nothing. like, this fucking... This thing's this not out of control big, or anything. This, 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 there's this big drop into Williams Lake, I believe. It's like this yep. five a, kilometer yeah. long fucking... And I am <laughs> literally... It's, it's just, huge, man. It's, you're just maxed out. Dude, I'm literally feels standing. feels like the fucking end of the world's coming, shaking. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. I'm standing <laughs> on the brake pedal with both feet. <laughs> like, holding on the steering wheel. Dude, I know that hill. I know that exact hill. It was weird because sometimes if I would go, if I would like kick the gas pedal and go like, it would like kick down and stay there. And and it would be like, oh my god, everything's working okay again. It feels like, but then we start going up the hill. We'd start going up the hill. I'm like, we're losing power. I put a little bit of gas on. It kicks down again. It would start gaining again. Not fast though. That's what was weird about it. It's not like it was kicking. Like again, the cruise control was fucking disconnected. Yeah. So we get into Williams Lake. Well, the thing is, the carburetor more is probably a, a manual throttle cable, right? It's like actual cable. That's so what we thought. So we get <laughs> we get into Williams Lake. I'm standing on the brake pedal at this stop sign. You're doing a brake stand in this fucking door. Your foot's at the door. And like I popped it in neutral and went, and then fucking I turned it off because it would blow. Oh my god! I kicked it down and we got into this gas station. And the transmission and then and then I fucking turned the key off. Yeah, I turned the key off and I was like, "Holy fuck!" And we get out of this this van, dude, and the fucking brakes <laughs> just are smoking. billowing. Like, I mean, it was like, they caught on fire for a second. They caught on fire for a second. They weren't on fire at that moment, yeah. but they were on fire. They they had previously been on fire, however. And, and so like, we're all just like, "Holy fuck!" <laughs> oh my god. And so so then I that's exactly what I'm thinking. Cable. Yeah, cable. I go. Stuck, I talk right? to this trucker. I'm like, man, this fucking weird shit's happening with the van. Like, what do you think it could be? Your trucker. You're out on the road all the time. He's like, oh yeah, it's your throttle cable, man. Or it's like something's gotten broken in there, and it's like poking in. And so yeah. when you pull in, so it's, it's getting stuck. And it's like it all made sense, right? <laughs> yeah, incredible so- stores. They're fucking crazy redneck <laughs> trucker at the gas station. At three it's four be in the morning. Of course, it has yeah. to be. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, four thirty in the morning, getting more coffee. Uh, so, <laughs> more coffee and fucking smoking your brakes on fire. 
So my buddy Mike McCarthy was on tour with us, and fucking he, me and him. So we pulled the doghouse out and we started up. And when we replaced the carburetor, there was some little thing we broke, and it was mounted like in the top of the engine. It was so fucking weird. If you did, it was this weird little pin that when we broke it just fell like into the so engine it wedged and you didn't see it you didn't see it so what would happen is when you would start the engine and you would get like compression so it would go pop 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 and it would bounce up bounce up and down yeah 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 <laughs> and yeah. then and then so when it was right by like the throttle body of the carburetor yeah so it would Obviously, the throttle body would come back and this thing and it and would it would wedge in and it wedge in yeah further, and further. It was, you could watch it all happen right there we're just like holy <laughs> who fuck, designed this thing yeah. <laughs> the fuck is going on You're like so something that, so small could have ended all of our lives so like, then i i went and grabbed some needle nose pliers and bent that fucking thing and we were good. <laughs> Met tree burning. Like that was that was four days of fixing a goddamn vehicle. And <laughs> tree burning fixed our car one time. Like our gas pedal fell off one. Like was we're driving pin? the road, and it fucking fell off. We're like, what the fuck? And like none of us know anything, anything about vehicles. So we're just like, oh fuck. We look I at feel it. Like Steve we, does. We like stopped at a dollar store, got some elastic bands. <laughs> And we, we like took Good, these elastic okay. bands and like duct tape and made yeah. this like rigging to keep the like the gas pedal up and it, cause it worked after that. We're like, oh fuck, sweet, we fixed it. Four years. <laughs> before, elastic bands. Before the elastic bands finally broke down and broke. Wow. And we're like, Wow, we gotta fix that again. <laughs> yeah. And it was just the gas pedal, like like whatever held the I don't know. I don't know how Another works, fucked up weird aside to that story I just told, and sorry, you were done, right? I didn't cut you off, did I? I'm done. Okay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, when I pulled this van for this Kilikai tour, I pulled this van out of my ass. I bought it off a friend. Man, really? I had a friend look at it. It was like been sitting for years, and like so we this were thing just was like up your fuck. ass, and you had your friend look well, at no, it, and you no, pulled it out. We had no that's, van. That's a close <laughs> relationship you have with that guy. We had no van a week before tour, and yeah. I somehow magically made a van appear. That's a that's how all feat tours are. Yeah, yeah. For everybody's sure. like, we don't have a van. Fuck it, we'll figure it out. And they don't, and they're like, oh shit, we're going. Like Lost you know, like next Saturday out. we're supposed so, to be in Vancouver. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So when I bought this van, I had two tanks. Yeah, was it a Ford? And, yeah, and it was like a, the the uh, Conline. Uh, yeah, but it was all the camper version. Oh, the so uh, Starcraft. Yeah. Starcraft. There you go, bang. Those are. Uh, it was yeah. It had three fifty one in it and all this shit. And I'm like, oh, this is all good. So, yo, we fill it up and we fucking we're out on tour. We take the pictures, man. And then we're we're out on tour. <laughs> yeah. So so we're driving. Our first fucking show was supposed to be in Lloyd Minster. Oh Jesus. <laughs> so oh, we Lord drive Jesus. out to Hannah and we're making fun of Chad Crow. Yeah, of course. The Nickelback <laughs> shrine in the city, right? Yeah, yeah and, and then the and then I and then I flip cold. over the tanks. You know, we ran the first tank was gone. And then, <laughs> I fill oh, yeah. the tanks and then fucking we're, we're same thing they have these weird dumb hills out there right? yeah. like these weird kind of like rolling hills and uh, I'd be driving and everything would be fine and then we'd start going blah, 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 and like lose all this power like like it was like losing like all this, uh, like fuel that's, that's what we were all thinking we're like fuck it's losing fuel somehow what the fuck so, and then all we could do is like I'd just, we'd pull over and and I'd like I'd cool like down bang on some stuff. <laughs> you know, I'd like the bang typical on this guy thing. fixing open the hood, bang <laughs> on some shit. Oh, yeah. it's a fuel filter. That's got to be over here. Bang, <laughs> yeah. bang, bang, bang. Yeah. And then it would start up and we'd go fine for ten minutes, and then fucking blah, 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 blah. and so we go into this town and try to figure out. So we're talking to people, trying to figure stuff out. Like, oh, there, yeah, fuel filter. It's got to be your fuel filter. So then we miss our gig in Lloyd Minster. <laughs> You've driven all the way there drive, for. Yeah, yeah, because it took so long. Ten, t- every 10 minutes, you got to yeah. pull over. So then we get to the point in the road where at the 16, where it's like we go right to Lloyd Minster or left to Edmonton where we have a, a home. Oh, what would happen, too, is it would smell like gas <laughs> right before it died. <laughs> like it's just getting So everybody's, like, getting high on fucking yeah. gas fumes the whole time. So it took us, like, 10 hours to get to Edmonton is what ended up happening. Jesus. And then we started working on this thing. So we replaced the carburetor, the coil, the fucking blah, 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 the spark plugs, and the blah, blah, blah. We did as, as much shit as we fuck, could. Yeah. And, yeah, wires, all that. Yeah, distributor. Yeah. And, and fucking still doing it. And you're like, fuck, man. And that then shit, you know what we ended up figuring out? 
It was the back tank. And that's why we left. A shitty fuel pump the, or something? Or what? The, 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 there's a little tiny screen filter piece of shit that goes yeah, in between the two tanks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's been sitting for three and years. Just kept running so the one that's tank. why we left. That's why we left is because we were like, I'm like, holy fuck. I look at it. It's on t- the back tank. I'm like, watch this. Click. Yeah. We go on a fucking, we go driving around. It's fine. <laughs> We're like, holy fuck, let's go, let's go, it's 10 o'clock, we might be able to get there, we can get to Grand Prairie, if we, it's 10 o'clock, no, we've missed that kick, you know, it's, fuck, god man. damn it, we drove all the way through, and then that happened in Williams Lake, we drove all the way through to Prince George, and that's, that's another, the Prince George story is a, I gotta have Wes on for that one, cause it was, <laughs> it was too intense. It was awesome. Yeah, it was a crazy tour. That it's like it's like you said. It's what you just everybody give her, does, man. You just you, you just, just go like give her. You don't just even know that you have like transportation. You just fucking book these shows and be like, all right, let's. Well, uh, I guess we got to figure it out by then. Let's so. Figure it out. Like the last Doberman tour, we did the same thing. We just like, all right, well, we have a fucking Honda Fit or whatever the fuck Jordan uh, drives. Oh, he's got a fucking uh, Festiva. A Festiva. Oh, yeah. a gangster. So we have like yeah. a, a Jeep and a Festiva, and that's like, all right, we're touring. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> nice, yeah. I'm trying to set up like a crazy network. I want to make it where I want to be the union events or whoever the big dick of the prairies, you know, where it's kind of like you could get, we could just go on a big loop you tour get those, of the like, prairies. And, 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 and crossing the mountains. And have shit set up in all those places. Yeah, like, like know these gigs are good and yeah, fucking, yeah. you know, just like put a package together and put it out on the loop and just go you have your medicine hat your red deer your all that shit that yeah see. yeah like we've been able to pull it off a couple times with Kelly Kai where it's like if you take the whole like so that weekend and then the week and then the other weekend like we you have shows like every night pretty much we still haven't like buckled down and actually done that we just you know, hang out and jam and no I know talk about playing uh, shows and <laughs> it's hard to get people to do that because there's not a lot of of people there but i'll tell you what when you play on a sunday in fucking uh prince albert that you're all sketched out by and 50 fucking kids show up and lose their shit wow that's, that's pretty that's that's fucking, rewarding right yeah that was that was really we did fucking a bunch neat, of like daywalker you know? shows and this was the first time in my life when i realized i was like oh my god if you're not playing heavy metal music people are like they come out like <laughs> <laughs> wow but, but like but like no but like on nice. a week, on a weekday on like a, a Monday Monday night you playing rock and roll, the, like the crowd is way different than a metal. Met, you put a sh- metal show on a Monday night. Mm-hmm. They were doing them in Banff. It depends. Banff. It depends if somebody I like th- gets. I think, I think that's totally dependent on the city or the town or whatever and the fucking yeah, whatever's yeah, going on in local. that place. Right? They, yeah. It depends if there's a promoter there that gives uh, that, a fuck. And that's a big fucking thing, happen, right? Or if or nobody what? knows, who the fuck's gonna come out? Yeah, exactly. right. Exactly. It's the same with any show, though. Like, yeah, it's true, and it's ch- it's changed from like posters to now it's internet. Yeah, it's weird. Like, it I don't weird. I don't remember the last time I went to a show because I saw it on a poster. Like, I see posters all the time, but I don't remember the last time I like went out to a show just because I saw a poster. It's always like the internet like bombards me with shit. Yeah, I know. And, like I know everything. I know because they're ca- they're they're dirt road and metal fast. Like, because I'm not paying them. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> they are. Yeah. Trust me. I know like, everything. Four people so, saw this. Oh yeah. Nice. I know everything that's happening just because I bombarded with it on the internet. Like, Fucking to, dicks. Hey. Productions.com. Yeah, yeah. Go to bignateproductions.com and yeah. bignateproductions.com. That Facebook was Facebook links. That was bignateproductions.com. By the way, <laughs> three times. Man. That's okay. They can dirt roll me all they want. I'm okay with that. You don't need to pay that shit. To the, to post the I'm guy, trying not like, to. Well, uh, the, well it comes down to guy? that, like, too. Well, Facebook. you know, I don't know. We're getting, like, like for me, this is a thing right now, because I have to pay all this shit. You know the poster so like, guy? Do I pay the, the Beatroot? Or do I something? pay... Yeah. Facebook. Which is also bullshit that you have to, like, pay well, money just to, like... But, but how do you... <clears throat> the thing is, like, how do you tell from the two different or whatever different medias and stuff like that what's actually the most effective form of getting that like promotion out there you know that's the thing it's marketing which is the most inflated fucking industry in the oh, world absolutely. full of the most ridiculous people of all time <laughs> they get paid way too much money to to like so you never know it's like a ma- it's p- a made up industry in a way right like and, it's just- and dude like if you want to get fucking radio like ads on 
call just do it just everybody go call cj92 <laughs> and be like how much for you know i want 15 seconds you know i want it four times uh or you know just four yeah. times a year call them up and say seconds. well they right <laughs> four times a year is different than i want it during the drive show four times an hour D- have right? you done this before yeah what what, are you, what what's oh the, at least four digits way in oh four, what end of the four digits yeah because like man I don't know. It's fucked up. When you, it's when you, when you hear marketing. advertising... Like, and that's like a college station. That's a... CJ92? Well, no, I'm talking about CJ92. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, doing the job they're doing and shit like that, there's always radio and shit going on at a job site, and it's like, you know, when you hear the radio every fucking day, it's like, you hear right. the fucking same goddamn ads, like three times or four times a fucking hour and it's like I, I always think about that I'm like how much fucking money is this costing these fucking companies to do that shit you know oh it's, it's gotta so, be ridiculously expensive I mean and that's that's every fucking day like you it know? was so funny there was when I posted the uh, Metal Fest lineup there was some guy in Edmonton he's like <laughs> and I'm repeating a troll right now which is stupid but he, he <laughs> you're empowering like, him <laughs> yeah yeah he, he was like they shut down noctis for this like bullshit you know and, and i was like i went on there and i'm like wow i i'm sorry you don't have the facts on this what but, like yeah see for your show? some people thought that like i was replacing noctis or something which is like i i, I was like first of all i started calgary Melfest before the end of noctis yeah, you, yeah there was a couple there was like some overlap years and yeah yeah like but i they worked, don't have they my don't, friend did noctis and they're also but, like three months apart it's not like they're like and, fucking yeah. like you competing. in fact worked yourself at noctis yeah like i was the stage manager for my friend at yeah noctis and you know, so I, but I don't have the resources, and you know, I can't get bolt thrower. Yeah, like I actually, I found out I probably could. Like I, but bolt thrower is funny. She asked them every year, and they and, and they they refused every year. <clears throat> and for them, it's not about the money; it's about when they want to do it. Mm-hmm. It's shit like that, right? Same with sacrifice. Like I tried to get sacrifice, and it just didn't work out. It just it, it didn't work out for no like. Nobody's fault. You got like Intronaut at Broken City for me. And that was like yeah, that was that life, was good. So. Like that was again that <laughs> that was like I didn't try to get that. It was just I lucked out. They were coming through town, and I was like, "Fuck yeah, be part of the festival. That'd it's be like, amazing." They're like one of my favorite bands, man. <laughs> yeah, and then Cataplexes, who are my friends, got to open with them. So it was yeah, like a yeah. double was whammy. Fun. Yeah. <laughs> How was the crowd at that show? That was good, from what I remember. Yeah. Cool. yeah. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> you're talking about something that happened a while ago, and uh, <laughs> oh, and nice. I've drank since then, so yeah. you know. Well, but. Metal Fest is designed to be a, a party. Yeah, absolutely. And it, right? it always is. It's always super. That was fun always time a big then. difference between Noctis. Is like Noctis was super serious. It, yeah, it kind of seemed like that <laughs> way too, for sure. It's every, not like, like I'm not serious at Metal Fest. But every, every Metal Fest show we've ever played has always been a huge party. It's just, yeah. yeah, like it's fucking. But awesome. also, but also, but also, we also well, up, well done. Like there's party. there's never any like yeah, you know it's not like concerns of like of like oh fuck what's going on here. It's like you know. I yeah, I run not, the show. It's not, it's not unorganized. It's just a fucking yeah. good time. I still have the time. pink tape <clears throat> on my drum kit <laughs> from like yeah, the first time yeah. we played Metal Fest. And every year, like last year, they even like like, oh, you're pink. I'm like, oh, we're pink again. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. I still have yeah, that show. I much still have it on my case. fucking yeah. drums. <laughs> well, I had some tape from when we played there too, which is hilarious to say. And I ripped it off the other day, and it like wrecked part of my case. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, Fuck, "What an asshole I am!" Yeah. <laughs> Shouldn't have ripped it off. Or left it That's off there. the difference between duck and gaff. <laughs> 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 well, fuck. Thanks for the stories. That was awesome. That was fun. Cheers. Uh, thanks for really, truly getting hard in Nate's backyard. This is what it's all about. Yeah. Thank you for Thank having you for us. Having us. Yeah, for sure, man. Yeah, we, we diverted a couple of times, but who gives a fuck? You either want to listen to this or you don't. Yeah. That's, <laughs> That's the Doberman way. Yeah. You should just get used to that. <laughs> nice. If you don't like it, then, well, you probably won't like us. <laughs> I dig it. So we're going to play. Yeah, cheers. Thanks for uh, doing it, Nancy. Doberman with Triton. Uh, yeah. Triton, the next. Triton. The next uh, we've got three more shows with Triton coming up. So. Yeah, yeah. go to every one of them. And go on their we're websites. Play some Triton and then the outro. All right, we're gonna play some Triton and then the outro for Nancy's birthday. Word. <laughs> Thanks, Nate. April third at Dickens. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Get that in there. Yeah. <laughs> Slip that in the yeah. back. There. <laughs>
Peace. Thanks for listening, everybody. Peace. Thanks for getting hard in Nate's backyard, fellas. Thank oh, you for letting me get hard in your backyard. <laughs> 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 it was a pleasure. Thanks. Get the fuck off of my